Hey everyone, right, sorry that we weren't around last week, uh, Valentine's Day unfortunately was last week. It <laughs> is. We couldn't, uh, yeah, we couldn't reschedule. Um, but we're back, and so last time uh, we left off outside of Baron Monver's camp. After Archer had gone in and spoken to him, Dev had snuck off to find the monastery, uh, life as normal at the monastery. Uh, the acolyte the party framed had been whipped for his perceived theft, which is good of you. Uh, <laughs> Dev confronted the archbishop, bishop, sat, on, sat on the chest that had the books in, demanded to know what was in it. Dev tried to grab the thesis, threatened the bishop, then the bishop pummeled the shit out of him, which is pictured on screen. Dev relented and went back to work like a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, he snuck off and rejoined the party. Uh, v went to the Inquisition, told Inquisitor Hort uh, about the social justice thesis, implied the peasants and acolytes were on it, in on it. V performed and did secret miracles in the camp. He was given a pass and told he can sleep in the penal barracks from the Inquisition. He went to an inn and found there was a quarrel between Prince... Em uh, they all went to the inn, found there was a quarrel between Prince Emmerich and Baron Monver, because Emmerich needs, a ca needs camp space that Monver can't use. And so Arch arranged an audience and had a polite conversation with him and persuaded Monver that if he accepted 3,000 gold pieces and a delegation to present it, his honour would be preserved. Arch now needs to persuade Emmerich to do this. The session ended as the players left Baron Monver's camp. And so you're now standing outside Baron Monver's camp. Actually, Arch doesn't need to do that. All he needs to do is to get an audience with the king, and then he can ask... Which king? Not... Uh... Well, he wasn't a king, was a prince, wasn't he? Yeah. Was a prince. Yeah, he was a prince. Yeah, you, like, our goal is to get an audience with him. After that, you, it's up to you, mate. Yeah, to be fair, I just, uh, I made it clear I was going to try. So I do yeah. have a loophole to sneak yeah. my happy little ass out. Even then, it's like, we want, uh, can we suck your dick, sir, please? Can, what, what do you need? What, what do you want us to do? <laughs> he's, <a> fucking, <laughs> he's got loads of different people to suck his dick, and they're all better than you. Which is why we're not going to do that. I, I actually do have a little plan. Do that, <laughs> so, go on. what's your plan? Uh, v, this is going to require your cooperation. Absolutely, my lord. And uh, it's probably going to happen tomorrow because we're going to need you to touch me and do funny things. Okay. Or whatever long the cooldown on that thing is. So, so when you're debating Spencer, you want me to touch you? No, because you're not close enough. Otherwise, <laughs> yes. Okay. You know, a, a mid-debate uh, encouragemental hand job would be nice, but sadly. But being right. more specific to what we're doing now. <laughs> yes. I, I assume, yeah, I assume uh, you want the uh, spell that gives you charisma. Definitely. And I'll go the other way. I won't try and fucking butter him up. Instead, I'll do the exact opposite and try to explain to him that all of the peasants are uh, calling him a bit of a faggot. Shit like that. And I'll point to you and go like, yes, my uh, personal confessor here spends a lot of time with the ruffians, and he's heard some spurious fucking rumors. And then you're like, yes, my lord, they're making little effigies of you, burning you in the streets, raping straw dolls of you, just crazy as you can, basically. Okay. And then I'll have to touch myself as well. <laughs> yes, you, you can touch yourself as well. Because oh, we want to try and get him convinced that this is actually a real problem that he has to deal with, and I want to get him angry. <clears throat> really angry. So who are you even talking about there? Prince. The prince, right, okay. Yes. Uh, I want him to be very angry, which is why I'm going to do bad things to him. Okay, so what are you doing? Do I think there's a chance you might uh, see through your deception since you're the only one telling it's him this? It's a dice roll, and besides, I'm going to have V tell them the angry <laughs> roll, shit, yeah. which means <laughs> one out of two things happen. V, like he's done throughout this entire fucking campaign, will roll 20s, or luck will finally catch up with him and he will roll a 1, in which case, I will turn to my van man servant, look fucking shocked, and go, my lord, I will have him whipped. Please forgive him this once. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I'm very reluctant. As a member of the... Uh, as, as, a, as an agent of the Inquisition, I think it would be a bit of a sin to lie to a prince about his own reputation. I, I uh, assume uh, Arch is telling me this in private without... Uh... Yeah, we're not lying. The, the peasants are getting a bit itsy that we're just going to exaggerate a tiny little bit for effect. 
the way my character moralizes this is that he finds it incredibly um, disrespectful towards the gods that the, the prince is putting his ambitions in front of the crusade, in front of the greater good. So well, if, if it takes lying to him to, to get the crusade moving. Lying? We're enhancing reality. Yeah. Well, bear in mind, V, that uh, uh, in, in terms of the context of my mission to ascertain whether you're touched by God or not, Uzlu will remember this. Yeah, but you don't know. What do you mean I don't know? I, I think I we're off to the side, easily. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Arch wasn't very clear about that when asked. No, he wasn't. Go away. But, um, <clears throat> right. If I'm not privy to this, I can take all that back. We'll, we'll just stay with the card, I guess. All right. Okay. So what's the plan? Well, um, how long does it take for you to recharge your pedophile powers? <laughs> One day. One one good rest. I'll have to go back to the inn for uh, today then. Um, I, I'm well, going to go to the Inquisition if... Uh... Right, we could go and try and set up the meeting today, but I'd rather not because he's a friend. He might insist we meet him now if we have a solution. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm up for it. Well, that's all I have. You can go off to the Inquisition and bother the poor fucker again for the god only knows which time this day. Yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> to the Inquisition and uh, go to the mess hall to, to have lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the rest of you have got to pay a silver piece, or how much it is. I'm sure it's a silver piece. If you're, uh, wait if you're resting in a tavern overnight. Sure, I think I have the... Uh... Money after I actually got some money for once. All right, I shall mark it off. But yeah, you um, you rest through the night, regain one plus your constitution modifier and hit points. Um, before that, what what are the people talking um at the like, like the penitent knights? What are they talking when they're eating? Like any conversations that I can hear that are interesting? Why um, do you think they would talk while they were eating? Is you anybody think... else's character sheet blank? Devs doesn't no, blank. mine's fine. Wait, uh, so so it's like it's like a funeral in the mess hall. It's like absolute quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's and yeah. Why is yours blank, Arch? I don't know, but it is. Oh, he's on bio. It looks like. Oh, um, now it loaded. Okay, it just took fucking forever. Um, yeah, Arch, yeah, you, no. you're on the bio tab here. Okay, yeah, no, v, I'm on the character sheet tab. Yeah, V. Uh, yeah, you you go to the Inquisition. You show your pass. You're allowed in. You're, you know, you go and put your stuff away or whatever. And you go to the mess hall, and it's quiet. You're given a seat. You're given a bowl of gruel. You eat your gruel. Everyone is sat there in complete silence um, until, of course, obviously before the prayer starts, and then everyone has to pray. Um, then everyone. Sargon. Well, he is gone. The, the, the gone is Sargon <laughs> is true. Sargon away. Sargon away. Oh, 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 we have a super chat. What are the odds that the Inquisition takes advantage of these spare the dying in, to enhance their interrogation methods? That would be so fucking cool if Sargon would do something like that. Well, I'm sure Sargon will consider it. Yeah, I, I can't say anything about it, but like, um, so yeah, it's it's just a, a quiet meal that's punctuated by prayers. My my character is deeply unsettled by this because human beings don't act this way. <laughs> and he's like <laughs> Well he doesn't say anything, he just looks around. Okay, yeah, but these to... basically aren't humans. These are the tortured remains of what was once humans. Yeah, you, you notice that people are generally just keeping their eyes on their food and eating. Yeah. Well, um so do I see you mentioning um Winston in his skeletal form plus muscles. Do I see Brother D? Yeah, he's in there. I try to make eye contact with him. He doesn't make eye contact with you. Okay. Well, that's that's that then. Really fucking cuntish of him. You should go over to him and ask him why he's being a douchebag. You shouldn't take any of Archer's advice. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for ocular engagement. Well, is there is there an empty seat next to him? No, but you've right. been assigned a seat. Oh, so it's okay. Imagine, imagine like being in a really totalitarian version of a boarding school. 
<laughs> it's, it feels like that. What's the difference? Exactly. I was about to say, does there exist non-totalitarian boarding schools? <laughs> Probably <laughs> boarding <laughs> schools. Well, I uh, after I finish, I dispose of my meal where everyone else disposes it, or if what people you watch, you're all, you're eating the entire meal because it's not very substantial. No, no, no. The the plate, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Right, and and after that, I I go to the dorms. Mm -hmm. I take my bed and I go to sleep. Mm -hmm. As do the other people. Okay. You wake up in the morning, you feel refreshed enough, I suppose. You go to breakfast. Well, I mean, you, you do all your morning prayers and whatnot okay. first. Um, but then you go to breakfast, and it's much the same event. Okay. A protein-rich gruel and prayers, and then the penitent knights basically go off and do their training. Hmm. So basically, like, no one talks with me, no one notices that I'm there. It's just... No, you may as well be on your own. Okay, right. Well, the, only, um, the only time anyone ever speaks to you is very curt and uh, functional, as in, you know, uh, you're you're standing my way, comrade or brother. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm going to go back to uh, to art. Mm -hmm. As you uh, find yourself heading towards the exit, you see that Inquisitor Hort and another shorter, fatter, balder. Uh, is he bald, actually? Let me check before I start describing him being bald. Um, yeah, he is, yeah. A short, sort of rotund inquisitor with thick jowls um, and carrying a, a staff topped with a holy symbol of Eroth is standing at the gates, and as you approach, they say, good morning. Blessed be thy day, Father. Mm. We need to find Uzalu. I assume you're going to see him now. I, I nod, of course. Uh, my, my lord Arch, well, what's his name? Um, Starch is fine. My <laughs> lord will do. <laughs> my lord Arch uh, is uh, in need of my presence, and uh, I'm sure Uzulu is with him. They say, they, um, Inquisitor Hortz just nods and says, This is Inquisitor Bright, and we'll be accompanying you. I am delighted by your presence, in, uh, Father Bright. It's very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the English? English? No, my, my character does indeed look a little bit ecstatic. As he's very happy that he's in the company of uh, two holy men. Oh, right. notice okay. me, senpai. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so they let you lead the way. Yeah. On the way, I spark some conversation about the the socialism that goes on on the monastery. What the ideology is, and what the other monks were telling me while I was at the abbey. Uh, the short, fat Inquisitor Bright is very curious, and he says, well, do go on. What have they told you? Told me that they want a world where everyone is equal under the Lord. That would mean that the peasant, the priest, and the noble would all have equal status. He just says that's fascinating. So they think that God's order of the world is wrong. I believe that the bishop thinks that the, the his interpretation is right, which is what makes it heresy. Yeah, but he's saying that he he thinks that the bishop's interpretation of the world is that God has ordered the world incorrectly, and he needs the bishop needs to reassemble it. Yes, he he thinks that the patriarch and a peasant don't uh, should be on equal terms. Hmm. Uh, the Inquisitor Bright just laughs. He finds this highly amusing. <laughs> I I look at uh, a little bit in dismay, uh, as in why? Uh, how how can heresy be funny? But then I laugh, I give a nervous laugh as well in order to be polite. Uh, and Crystal Hort just puts his hand on your shoulder and says, "Well, heresy is never funny, but this is such an <laughs> absurd idea that it could never be real." I, I start laughing as well and say, "Yes, of course. I I didn't think about it this way." Mm. Okay, you uh, arrive at the tavern and. Go in. Uh, I assume that the rest of you are in the tavern. I don't think I've uh, got anywhere else. Right. Really bad idea for me to do so. Uh, how it, how are people be... reacting to seeing the Inquisitors? Uh, generally, they just keep their eyes down. <laughs> oh, and and one more question um, that I would inquire: how, how do people join the rank of the Inquisition? Nobody joins the Inquisition. They are selected. Hmm. Anyway. So, Inquisitor Horst was selected? Okay. Every Inquisitor was selected. Okay, that makes sense. 
The uh, you go into the tavern and uh, there's a table that's cleared very quickly. Uh, you sit down and the inquisitors invite the rest of you to sit down, and they turn to Uzulu and say. Uzulu, as an agent of the Inquisition, we need you to do something for us. We've been told about strange healing potions that have been made in a village called Ware, about seven days' travel away, eh? that are drawing pilgrims away from the Crusade. They want you to travel there and investigate. And they, Bishop uh, Inquisitor Hort, uh, yeah, reaches into his robe and pulls out a scroll with a wax seal. That will be your proof to show that you are an agent of the Inquisition on official business. Well, this is uh, quite an improvement from the last time the Inquisition came to visit me. Um, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> then I suppose I'll uh, dutifully nod and accept the uh, the scroll and think to myself, we're about to kill two birds with one stone, some free healing potions, and I get to kill something. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 guess, I guess that's it, unless there's anything further. I, I act astonished upon hearing this, and I ask permission to for accompany Uzulu in his quest. Um, they turn to you, Uzulu, and say you can conscript anyone who is willing to travel with you. Um, I thank them, but I, I don't say anything specific on the matter yet. Okay. Uh, they ask you, Uzulu, if you have any more questions. Um, so, okay, so this is not me asking the them, but the village you said is Warre, so should we write that down, or are you going to remind us? I'm not going to remind you guys of anything. So if, right. I, if I say anything, you guys should probably write something down, if you think it's important. Just so I know what to refer to it as. Yeah. Um, and we're to go there and investigate the reports of healing potions, and I assume in this world healing potions aren't common things. No, no. The, these are like... They, they've they've only received um, odd reports, but um, it's enough to get their ire, and they think that something is going on, and so they wish you to investigate. Would I be allowed to use my divine gift? Surely the peasants would be swayed uh, on the side of the Inquisition if they see that the members they are sending are touched by the divine, and they would realize that the person making the healing potions are uh, against the divine. I can step in here and, uh, and slyly say you've still yet to sufficiently demonstrate your powers to me, so I would encourage you to do so. Uh, they actually say it would probably be best if you keep this to yourself for now, because we do not know what is happening in this village. I know. Um, but of course we'll investigate first. Yes. Okay, I, I don't think there's anything more to ask about that. Um, Ash, do you have anything to ask? How much are you going to pay me to come along with you? <laughs> well, that's a question to you, Uzli. Uh, how much? How much? Uh, well, actually, you're not going to be in any shit if you say no, are you? Um, I guess it's up to you. Uh, I don't to have, have... To have a noble on our side would definitely help in this. Oh, we were asked to travel but... seven days. Some travel expenses would be reasonable. But I do have the the seal from the uh, from the Inquisition. So having the noble on us, I wouldn't do that much extra. Um, depends. Like, if people hear the Inquisition, they might be afraid to talk. Perhaps you can tie this into one of the local princes. Perhaps there's some benefit that you can give to a prince or, or a duke or to someone you're trying to impress, as that seems to be your main quest right now. You, you can Perhaps ask can the Inquisitor if they will pay you. Um... Yeah, I mean, go ahead and ask. I, I won't stop you. Go on the quest. I'm being. You. God damn it. Okay, I'll randomly interject. <laughs> Since one of my slaves here seems to have taken up a mission, how much you to pay me for watch over him? It seems random. I look astonished. He isn't one of your slaves. <laughs> no, but he wants me to come along. Well, you don't have to. <sighs> But, no. but you don't want to miss out on an adventure, do you? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just can't imagine my noble doing this. The Uzulu, an inquisitorial agent who my character mistrusts, goes like, hey, can we go do healing potions? Yes, sure, fine, comrade. I shall back you up on this adventure. Yeah, to be fair, V's motivation to come with is very obvious, but Arch has pretty much none. 
To I'm, be I'm fair, trying to help by saying we can make it worthwhile. Like, it's, like it's gaining similar. healing potions, considering they're rare, they might be very expensive to sell. So, yeah, but if they are effective, they're going to be heretical. Yes, and they they could be, uh, you know, blood of demon goat or something like that. Well, don't you have a moral duty to deal with this sort of thing? I have a moral <laughs> duty to my <laughs> the purse. <laughs> Well, just ask the Inquisitor for cash, then. No, that's what you should... See, this is what you should do, Uzalu. You should just go, like, oh, travel expenses. Then I could go, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Free food. I don't need I don't much to justify it, just something. Yeah, you, you can ask the Inquisition to pay me to do something that I'm already... Uh, like, Obligated to do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not gonna pay what is my obligation to? Travel expenses, at least. Yeah, just mm -hmm. say travel expenses. They won't you say no. a monthly stipend. Okay, so I actually get paid monthly. I, yeah. I assume that it's not coming up time for me to get paid again. Not yet, no. Right. All right. Well, as long as you pay me, then. <laughs> how, how could I possibly satisfy the coin purse of a noble? You could try, dear peasant. You could yeah, just, try. just ask for money to recruit people. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll need, like, four guys to do this job. And I, I would require they wouldn't to... want too many going in. We were supposed to be subtle. Besides, my character is exceedingly petty. You don't have to offer him much, just something. Yeah, well, the actually, guy... they're not saying you have to necessarily be subtle. I mean, you're being you, you're being given official papers to demonstrate that you are um, under inquisi under inquisition authority. So, I guess so. But then, why why the the, the uh, thing about V's powers then? Well, that's because V's powers are radical. I see. Okay, so it's, it's the powers itself, not the mission. I got gotcha. you. All right, misunderstood that. Uh, well, well, what I are guess my powers? Uh, Irradical, or what? What did you say? Well, your powers are really, really unusual, V. Huh. You, like showing people your powers is going to be like pulling out your dick. <laughs> so, just dicks are not that unusual, Sargon. They're not that unusual. Know, it is in this world. <laughs> dicks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I mean, I could, I could always try this. Um, just, uh, uh, just uh, try to try to um, pressure Arch with the Inquisition there. Something along the lines of, uh, "Hey, Arch, you're a, uh, you're a, a, a noble and God-fearing man. You'll help us on this quest, won't you, Pro Bono?" <laughs> I will look at you <laughs> like sideways glance. <clears throat> With the Inquisition watching, bear in mind your answer is going to be uh, in that context. I've already rendered service to the Inquisition. I'm not so you, uh, so in you're any saying way that your service to, to the Lord is not undying. Thing. You're saying that you're, there are limits to your devotion. You're saying that you could, at a moment's notice, well, the, okay, drop the word of just to just to cut. The, the Inquisitors don't want to be here all day, so they say, <laughs> "No, I know. We, we will we will trust you to organize the details of it, but we will." See you upon your return. Yeah, I, I hadn't intended that to be like a, a, a huddle around while the Inquisitors were still there waiting. I was trying yeah. to get this dealt with quickly, but um, I, there's no I, I, with I, these I, personal problems quickly. <laughs> these yeah. things go forever. So I, I had uh, no intention of, of prolonging the engagement with the Inquisitors, which is why I was being very simple. So if they had already left, that would be fine by me. Uh, yeah, well, they they say okay. Well, we we will see you in well, I guess approximately two days. two to three weeks, something like that. And uh, uh, they get up, give you a a short nod and blessing from the church, and they leave. I assume we're meeting them back at their camp. Well, yeah, I mean it'll be in okay. two weeks' time at least. So yeah, and oh, <laughs> if we happen to have finished it by tomorrow. Uh, what do we do now? Do, do we do we do arches or do do yours? I'm I'm fine with either. We'll uh, hopefully be able to do the home noble one today. Otherwise, we'll set up a date. Yeah. Now, oh, being able to say, we'll say we're an official business in the meantime might even be nice. Right. Hey, well, those papers so you... can come in handy if they would have given it to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the question still stands, Zuzalo. Money? I'll I'll give you ten gold if you come with us. <laughs> no, look at me. <laughs> ten gold? That's all I have, my lord. And if it's all you have. 
Well, and all I had to do was not wait. It was was it was not offer you money. Just wait, and someone else would. Fine, <laughs> it's motivation enough. Yeah, add add ten goals to your character sheet. I'll remove ten from there. Oh, you you're giving it all now, are you? Of course. <laughs> To the guy that's been you? stealing from everyone for the entire campaign. Not stealing. Sleight of hand. Different. What I do is a trick. Just, just because I don't want to stand an hour here getting you to go on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it does make sense, giving him a motivation to do the quest. I mean, that's kind of important for d d Personal advancement yeah. and glory should be all the motivation anyone needs. Not it's inside the church. fucking church. <laughs> See, I, I my, my, as far as my character is concerned, he tried this once and he didn't get anything out of it. So now he just views the church with distrust. Well, that's not entirely unsensible. Like you didn't give me even a single shiny coin for bringing you heretical fucking book, worthless shit. Come on, let's let's go remove kebab. I had to sneak through <laughs> somebody's fucking dirty goddamn house and ruffle through their underwear drawer to fetch this. <laughs> But you can tell tales of your epic exploits to the prince. He'll be really impressed. Then I snuck into the old man's room, where he lay snoring. I briefly considered tying him up as BDSM, forcing him to submit. Then I decided against it. You let Dev find out just how much of a powerful fighter he was. Which is right. <laughs> Speaking of which, where is Dev? With you in the tavern. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm just hanging out. I'm, I'm going on your quest with you, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm kind of on the run, I think, from the church at this point, so <laughs> fuck it. Hey, Inquisitors, this guy almost fought a local bishop. <laughs> so, uh, Arch, what are you doing? Off to Prince Emmerich's camp. Okay, you head over right. to Prince Emmerich's camp. It's not very far away. We'll do yours first, especially since I'm helping V, and I assume he's uh, going with you. Or investigating like you. I'd like to show this comic first before we transition over to the camp. Mm -hmm. And check this out, guys. <laughs> I'm sure we've seen this one before, but it is still good. Um, right, it was, just, Arch, it was just given to me, actually. All oh, right, okay. Arch, um, when you arrive at Prince Emmerich's camp, the guards at the gate uh, salute you and say, How can we help you, my lord? <clears throat> Oh, uh, let's see. How much do you reveal right off the bat? Um, I wanna. Ah, yes. We are here uh, with a mm, proposition. Don't really want to reveal too much of it. How do I do this without actually telling them anything? Oh, fuck it. Um, we're here on behalf of Baron Monver with a potential resolution for your Lord's camp problems. Uh, thusly, we require a, uh, not to require, request, let's be nice, an audience with the prince or a representative. The guard, um... Just says, I understood. Um, please wait here and I'll find someone for you to deal with. Uh, he walks off. He comes back. Wow. Hold on, hold on. As we're alone, I'll cast the spell on Arch. You're not alone. Well, can we go somewhere to alone, Arch? If, if they come back and say yes, we'll say, like, hey, I'm going to need to go to the toilet first. Manservant, come wipe my ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not alone. Okay, okay, but anyway, half an hour later, uh, Chaplain Zabas comes back with the guard. Um, and he comes up to you, Arch, and says, good morning, what can I do for you? Good day, good sir. Uh, it has come to my... I was about to say arrival for some fucking reason. I've forgotten how to speak English. It has come to my attention that your... Uh, would a prince be considered your highness in this world, or lord? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, your highness, definitely, for royalty. Okay. It has come to my attention that uh, his highness, the Prince Emmerich, has been staked out a somewhat too small camp, and that Baron Monver has a somewhat too large camp. While I would not presume to offer a solution by itself to the problem, I do know the Baron personally, and I believe a <coughs> agreement could be arrived at. 
Uh, Chaplain Sabas says this would be something that you would need to speak to the prince about directly, I'm afraid. And he is a very busy man. And I'm afraid you are, how do I say this, not a man of enough renown to be able to secure an audience with him. So I'm afraid you'll have to come back when anyone has heard of you. Should I display my powers to this gentleman, Arch? Maybe you should let Arch have the conversation he's having, V. No, I'm actually asking Arch while he's having the conversation. <laughs> Arch, are you going to let your bad servant talk out of turn like this? Uh, we'll slap it on the head as usual. See, this is why nobody knows about me, V, because you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, um, I'll respond... I see, I do understand. In fact, we were just given a special mission by the Most Holy Inquisition to go deal with presumably heretical influences a, uh, a distance off. Of course, I understand oh, if the prince considers the business of the Inquisition to be beneath his notice. I am sure we can arrange something after my return. Uh, Chaplain Zabas... Um... He has he he he's got a very calm expression on his face, and he he clearly understands the game you're playing. Um, and he just uh, tilts his head slightly and smiles at you and says, um, "A lot of people are sent on missions for the Inquisition. Very few of them get audiences with the prince." All right. Very few people can solve a prince's problems for him as well. Like, for example, a camp staked out by a king. He says that he will take that the prince will take this up with the king himself. He doesn't need a lowly knight to do this business for him. Ah, so the prince is going to abase himself for the king and ask him if he couldn't please increase the size of his camp, a camp that the king has stapled out for himself? I must admit, this is the source of some of the rumors. Now, of course, I would not lend any credence to these peasant scholar scully butt rumors, but there has been suggestions that the prince might be falling out of favor due to the size of his camp with the king. Uh, Chaplain Zabas affects a surprise, surprised look and says, well, I'll make sure I tell the prince about such rumors. Okay, now I'll uh, turn to V and go like, please do. This is my personal confessor here. He has it in his mind that the poor should be taken care of with as much effort and compassion as possible, and so he spends a great deal of time amongst them. He is the one that has brought many of these spurious rumors to my attention. I sigh, and uh, I say, yes, it is very difficult to keep the peasants to listen to the daily prayers. They constantly <laughs> talk and gossip about how the, we, we are losing favor with our Lord uh, because the nobles are putting their self-interests in front of the crusade. Of course, the rabble should not be entertained with such, but one cannot help but hear these rumors. Then perhaps you should do your duty and stamp them out. <laughs> Aghast. <laughs> well... It's time for righteous, righteous indignation, V. <laughs> uh, as as I play with my um, with my religious symbol, it starts to grow, glow a bright blue shade of divine light, and I say, even a person touched by the divine is unable to quench such rumors. Chaplain Desmas says, I have seen many tricks in my time. The prince's schedule is full. You two are nobodies. You will not be getting an audience with him. Good day. And he turns on his heel and walks away. Okay, we'll have to go do the mission then. We're also going to be, uh, if we manage to resolve this, going to make damn sure he knows who managed to stop it from being resolved. I, I, I twitch as he walks away and I say tricks. Yes, I think, <laughs> I think we will start subquest number one right about now. Destroy Chaplain. <laughs> oh, I see you've made an enemy. 
It's, even after he leaves the room, Karl Heinrich stares intently to the door where he walked off. <laughs> You're not in a room. <laughs> but, okay. Um, yeah, the guard comes up to you and says, I'm sorry, my lord, I'm going to have you to leave, ask you to leave. Are you going to blaspheme at it as well? God fucking damn it, I'm surrounded by these people. I storm off. Very, uh, very righteous, V. Yes, I, I've become very impressed by how much touched by God you are. Is is solo <laughs> here as well, by the way, Arch? Because <clears throat> no, the uh, the priest can one off. I'll uh, I'll just turn to the soldier and goes like, I understand. It saddens me that you and your brethren must be kept in this far too small encampment due to the close mindedness of others. But do not fear; I'm sure it will work itself out. I should have cast command person. He, he just agrees and says, "It saddens me my, too, my lord." I should have cast command person on him. Would have been good. Like, stop. <laughs> Sit down. Bark like a dog. Turn in a circle. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I would do. Like, do, do you still think it is our tricks? Eh? Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. See, what you should have done was make a fucking... That was a cue for booming voice, V. Just like, you dare command the services of the church. Yeah, but Sargon made him storm off before I could do anything interesting. You know, this man is a chaplain, right? Okay. He's a chaplain. He's the prince's chaplain. He has no yeah. authority over local church matters. Yeah, but he's he's not, like, unaware of church politics. And he, he does he does have a great deal of influence in and of himself. The chaplain of the mm. prince is a, he's an important man. I'm not saying he doesn't. He called me a liar. <laughs> yeah, but you are a liar. No, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I am touched by the divine. God fucking. Ah, uh, don't worry. We'll have him assassinated <laughs> soon enough. Yeah, just put the his real name on the list, I guess. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna. The trick is gonna be to try and get him killed by the prince. Ooh. Yeah, I hope that will happen. Okay. Honestly, like this, this guy has committed the the highest heresy. <laughs> okay, you know that's um, actually really good though, because now we can uh, the rumblings of the soldiers. Ooh, we have uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, enhance reality a bit there. From now on, it's not one soldier who said me that this is really sad and that they worried about the chaplain. From now on, it's every single bloody one of them. No, you know what? When I when I do my holy things and I and I heal people and shit, I'll I'll, I'll put a bad word for this guy. It's like this, this guy is the one sent from Satan. <laughs> I'm here to cure your blindness, but that cha chaplain's a boss guy. Fuck him. Yeah, that that chaplain has it in for me. It's like you know, I, I'm trying to do God's work, but that guy, Jesus fuck. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I've got a new art here. Check this out. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, imagine imagine if you're doing that in a school V. That's the reaction you probably get. Just so you know. Um <laughs> I, I don't agree with the comparison. I think it's a really bad. <laughs> So what's the plan? <clears throat> well, I have been paid 10 gold to follow the untrustworthy Inquisitor. So we shall follow the untrustworthy Inquisitor. Right, okay. Well, um, um, Uzulu isn't an Inquisitor. But um, we just thought... I mean, you can believe that if you want, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feel, <laughs> feel free, I guess. The newbie doesn't get a horse, by the way. Just pointing that out. But we have four horses. Yes, and four of them are mine. We have a cart he can ride in. Eh, he can walk. Right, okay. Well, uh, if you... I mean, is there anything you want to get before you go? Well, we uh, we need food, and we will continue the uh, the exclusion of Uzulu as much as possible, obviously. We should probably fill the cart up so he can't sit in it. Well, that's nothing new, you know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, how, how much I, food is in the cart from Sir Jan's camp anyway? How much do we have left? I don't know. You tell me how much you've got in your carriage. I, I want to be nice to Uzalu, but his character is constantly eyeballing me. So, 
He's a bit of a creep, that's true. What, what have you got written down? Right, I mean, I've got I'm, rations for uh, eight days still. I've got nine days in my person, but I don't know what came with the cart. Well, anything you haven't got written down, I'm just going to assume has been stolen. <laughs> Oops. This is why I should deal with all of everything. So now the cart is empty. <laughs> Except for the, I guess, the, the chest that I right. put in it. Yeah. Well, um, I'll, I'll turn to Uzulu, the expedition leader, and says, So, brave leader, where's the food? <laughs> the food? Yes, you know, the thing you put in your mouth to not die. <laughs> As the noble of the party, isn't it, uh, isn't, isn't it in your interest to know where that's coming from? I look over at V. No, nah, I'm in his employ now. Let's who's go shopping who's and get employed. this adventure going, chop chop, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not gotten it now? My noble really does not give a shit about anything but himself and his family. To be fair, unless um, either one of you would like to claim to be my long lost brother. How much? Um, Arch, I'm your how long much lost gold brother. for the food, Sargon? Give out your black. Hmm? Say again, V. How much gold for? Uh, 14 days worth of rations, I guess. Well, for one person? For all of us. I mean, I'm still fine for food. I've still got my original Explorers pack, so... Okay. Hold on, before, okay. before you shell out, I... Before you shell out, I did actually write down, in fact, everything that was in the cart. I have it on a text file on my desktop. Cart, three horses, plus Arch's horse. Um, four large crates, one small crate, five barrels, large quantities of food, water, and clothing, tools, cooking tents, or sorry, cooking equipment, three tents, unknown number of bedrolls, blankets, three bows, three spears, and two sets of lancer armor. That was the entire contents of the cart. Okay. How much of that do we still have? Well, all of it, if you haven't done anything with it. What is a lancer armor? Yeah, I, I don't know what lancer armor is. I think you mean leather armor? Um, it, we, we, there were there were lancers that we fought. I just wrote down what, just them, their armor. I guess whatever yeah, it was. They had leather armor. Right. Sets of leather armor. There's okay, all the stuff. So, how much food is large quantity? Yeah. Um, okay, it wasn't we, spelled out. For four people, it'll be a month's worth of food. Lovely. Right. We have enough food. All right. Let's all right. go. I shall pet the black man on the head and go. Good. Good monkey. Why are there no super chats in this chat? Very disturbing. What's that say? But anyway, <laughs> right, okay. Um, are you going um, to set off? Actually, before that, let's go and buy a shield. We're gonna go shopping, V. Shopping, V. Shopping, Make sure you're gonna bless one. How much for a shield, Sargon? I'll buy him I one. Know. I have to go and look it up, V. We need okay. to go find a blessed shield. <laughs> It'll be in the armor section. The shield page is for the spell called shield. Well, can anybody else look at it? I actually don't have, have the manual at the moment. I'm having a look. Uh, um, shield. A weapon, shield, padded, medium, shield, MGP shield, tangle. Yes, Wait. tangle pants. Uh, plus two armor class is what it does. Yeah, what's the price of it? Ten. Ten. Oh, well, 20 gold pieces then. Okay. Anybody would like to volunteer to pay? How much? <laughs> Ten gold pieces? No, 20. 20, okay. Five, all right. I'll try to haggle. Okay. What? Uh... Let me find it. Ah, there we go. Uh, you fail. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, fine. 
I'll pay. So, uh, Lilindy says, I have nothing to say but V wants Super Chat, so glad to interrupt for nothing. Thanks, Lilindy. <laughs> Don't feel obliged by V, pr- trust me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, right, we... yeah, you can you can purchase a shield. Archer, get a shield. I'm a really happy about this. kind of shield? Well, there's only one type of shield in D&D, because D&D is not yeah. supposed to have different weapons or anything interesting in it. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? But what I mean is, like, um, style of shield. You, I mean, you can, it, even even if it um, even if it doesn't matter. In that case, I want like a fucking huge ass kite shield with a lion on the front that roars and spits fires and shit. Okay, well, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't roar and spit fire, but you you can have you can find one with a lion painted on it. Okay, I I moral fag at the person. Um, in order to make him feel guilty for not giving a discount to a member of the church. That's also persuasion. He nice. just smiles and he says, you know, my lord, I'm a member of the church. I'm just down with my luck. But I, I rolled 22, though. So it's like basically it, it's saying that, you know, your soul will suffer in the other world, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. He, he just, you know, just smiles and then turns to the next customer. Almost like they don't care about their souls, their heathens, all of them. Yeah. Maybe next time we should consider just stabbing them and taking their shit. I am going to buy a whip and whip the fuck out of these people when I come back. They're clearly heretics. <laughs> the moment I guess I'm inquisitorial power, Jesus Christ. Okay. The, let's, let's you deliberately on. note that there were no super chats because now Sargon's getting wealthier. Yes. Don't, don't send super chats for no reason, guys. Um, right. So what are you doing? Do it. What you need to do? do We're going on an adventure. Okay. I mean, I'm, is I'm... there anything you want to do before you leave? Um, do we need anything else? Did we? Um, did no, we take we the need ropes off me? No. We need to ask someone where the village we're going to is. Uh, you they've told you where it is. They've pointed okay. out the map. I, I still case, have my rope. Okay, because rope will be useful. See, I, I've I got, got my entire more... explorer's pack, so that's got a lot of gear in it. I, I got moral fact by a super chat. Been Anything else we might need to deal with the peasantry? No. Some screws, whips? No. Other motivational gear? Let's just have an adventure, please, for the love of all that holy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm already sitting in the driver's seat of the cart. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we've got cooking equipment. <laughs> Let me just look through the list. Want me to pull it up again? Hmm. How about we <laughs> buy a ball bearing? This is going to be a shopping or... game, isn't it? It's kind of, it's, uh, uh. I mean, ball bearings are useful, but you can't just have one. You need like a thousand of them or something. Oh no, it's a bag of a thousand. It's wonderful. Okay, how much do they cost? Actually, you know, that's not a... I could do shit with ball bearings, but my noble doesn't know how to do shit with ball bearings. <laughs> I mean, Sargon, if you haven't realized, but ball bearings? Oh my god, I could make fucking S-mines with this shit. Yes, you could. I know, I'm sad about it now. Oh. Maybe roll religion right. and you get like a divine inspiration to make one. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god, you autists. Just sort yourselves out. Uh, Alright, well, we'll, um... What we will do, though... In the driver's seat, like, I swear to the prophet, I will come back there. <laughs> uh, do we have a healer's kit? Because that could actually be useful. I do have one, yes. Yes, and All I right. have spared the dying. Let's go. Okay. In that case, we'll take, um, glass? Bottle glass? You, you want to take a glass bottle? Uh, bottles are expensive. Yes, those are two gold coins. Well, I, I do have some bottles. They're currently full, but I have some. I'm going to be destroying them. If you're fine with that, I can use those. Um, sure, I guess. I've got okay. four bottles. Three filled with water, one filled with wine. Okay, I'll take one of those then. And we'll need a small pouch. <sighs> yeah, you can, you can get a small leather pouch for, like, five copper. I'll buy that, and then I'll be 
Done. You know what? I'll buy one too if, if they're that cheap. You can both buy one because they are that cheap. It's the medieval wallet. Might have like a design of a little cat on it or something. Oh my fucking <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very. Uh... I, I, I'm thinking using my booming voice and say, "Hurry up, you faggot!" <laughs> Ooh, soap is two copper. Now we should all just splurge and buy a bathtub. Holy fuck! This is going to be a shopping quest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to buy this soap. It's two copper. Let me buy the soap. Let's put a bathtub in the cart so we can just bathe on our way. So for twenty pounds to get you out of your shopping experience, uh, been enjoying your content ever since I discovered your channel. Have never learned so much from such an enigmatic fellow. Sorry, I cannot go to your live show despite wanting to go so bad. And V, you can stop lying to the folk. <laughs> Thanks, Halo Spartan. <clears throat> so, how much for a uh, a wooden bathtub? They don't have wooden bathtubs for sale. The the they have no. They, they have like those round thingies made out of wood. Yes, one of those. Oh, v, oh I think right. you wasted your money trying to convince Arch to come because we're just going to leave without him at this rate. Yeah, probably probably like a silver piece. Right, I'll get one of those and mount it on the rear of the cart. Okay. <sighs> okay. What's going on the cart? <laughs> Bathtub. Devo, do, do you still have your prone ability? Can you prone arch and drag him? Okay. Oh, Why don't you just go? We're going. Um, is is go. there anything to warm, warm water with? No. <laughs> Why not? Because there isn't. Arch, so you take a bucket. Warm. Listen, Arch, you take a bucket, a metal bucket? Campfire, you warm the bucket over the campfire, and then you pour the hot water into the top. Now, can we please go? Hey, fucking hell. Fine. Um, grooming kit? Are you saying you don't already have a grooming kit? I actually think I don't. Well, that's pretty pathetic, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, I know. That's why I'm horse. asking. Luzella, start the horse, please. Dev is um, driving. There is actually no grooming kit in the list. Dev, start the horse. Hold on just a second here. Come on, Dev. Put the, put the key into the ignition and, and start the horse. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to spend one key and punch Arch in the face. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, Arch, come on. Yeah, but give me a grooming kit for fuck's sake. You can just leave him behind if you want. He can lose out on the glory and then not yes. be a man of renown when he needs to be. Honestly, Arch is being a twat. So unless I have a horse, I can catch up. Okay. Yeah, we're leaving. Okay. okay. Who has good sleight of hand? Secretly hitch Arch's horse to the cart and leave. <laughs> A horse is connected to me at the fucking hip, Devo. Right. Uh, uh, Arch, out of character. Can we, Arch, out of character. Can we play, please? Yes, I just want a grooming kit. Okay, how much for a grooming okay, kit, Sarah? Silver piece. Right, I, I'll pay piece. for it. We're going. Right. Come on. Okay, I'm happy. We can leave now. <laughs> okay, great. You travel for a week. <laughs> that was a long you. fucking journey. <laughs> Are you gonna, there, are you gonna skip there are lots of people on the road. Some of them talk to you, some of them don't. Some of them look foreign, some of them don't. Um, I, I, I perform miracles whenever I get the occasion. You don't have an occasion to perform miracles when you're just walking along. Well, if I ever see a blind person on the way or someone injured or anything like that for a week, chances are that I might be able to see something like that. Okay, v, make the entire cart then. glow. No. <laughs> You know what I love is that you have absolutely no conception of narrative. Uh, you, you don't see any blind people on the journey. Okay. Um, they they just seem to be relatively healthy people that you pass. Um, but yeah, eventually you arrive at Warre. Nice. You have to do something. It's in the top left corner. All right. Um, and I will use Just like the bishop. There we go. Let's use Uzulu as the party token for now. Uh, Warre, let me. Uh, 
Right, yeah. So you're you're tired from being on the road for a week. Um, it's a small, unwalled village. As you head in down the main path, you see a blacksmith hammering away at the forge. There are groups of men and women going about their daily business with children doing chores and running around playing. As you go in, the blacksmith notices you and calls out to you and says, Hail strangers, my name is Canfred. Why are you here? Hello, Canfred. Hail, good blacksmith. I am immaculately fucking groomed. <laughs> <laughs> I also have really good clothes on, so... I've, I've encountered Kevin, the problem. You the aren't washed, washed. You're filthy and dirty, and you don't have a grooming kit. I glisten uh, in the early morning sun. We both seem to think we're leading this party. Me because I have the mandate to, and you because you're you. I'm the noble. <laughs> you're a peasant. I'm, I'm not I'm following Godzilla on this. So we both said hello to the blacksmith at the same time. <laughs> And then Arch preened himself in front of the blacksmith. <laughs> what and I said, uh, blacksmith, uh, easily. I'm, I'm gonna, well, I assume the best thing to do is to find whoever's in charge of the village, whatever the, whoever the person with the most authority here is. How would I go about asking that in context? <laughs> well, however you want. I mean, how do you want to, I can't tell well, you I mean, to ask you questions. My character would know how, how the village, uh, like, the, um, Authority structure generally is. I don't know if it's hey, actually like Blacksmith, a... Blacksmith, who's in charge around here? Yeah, I mean, you could just say that. The Blacksmith <laughs> says you'd want to speak to the mayor. Why have you come? I want to do is you medieval. can thank me later. <laughs> I didn't expect the village to have a mayor. Okay, whatever. Fine. <laughs> we, 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 shall, we shall go to the mayor then. Where is the mayor? He's in his house, I imagine. Where is his house? Largest house around is a loo. God damn it. He points down the road and says on the on the sorry, which way you're facing on the left. I thank the blacksmith and we continue down the road. I love how you ignore him. It's like he's not even a person. <laughs> blacksmith, he says, "Why are you here?" <laughs> I stay while Uzula walk away. Oh, don't mind him. He's a bit spass. <clears throat> so we're here on official business. It's very hush hush. Can't tell you except if you no. Okay, he looks um, he looks rather pensive about all this, and uh, says, "Okay, well, if you need any help, I'll be at my forge." And then just walks back over to his forge and starts hammering away again. Oh, I, I I'm stay not in. letting no, him walk on. away, bastard! <laughs> Do you sell the shit here? I, I, can, <laughs> I can I can make nails and horseshoes to anyone's order, assuming that I'm paid in advance, my lord. Ooh, nails. <laughs> I uh, I have a question for him. Um, I say, look, um, I I don't know if we can trust anyone, but I'll, I'll use him like an honest man. So, I'll I'll trust you with this. Uh, my my daughter is very very sick, um, and I heard that we could find um, certain medicine in this village. You, that... You'll have to repeat that, Vix. My internet kind of there. Say again. Okay. Lying to the peasantry again, Jesus. Yes. Say, um, say again, V. I didn't hear that. I, I will say, okay, listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you, you. We shouldn't be talking about this, but you look like someone that uh, is trustworthy, and I really need the help of someone in this village. Um, my daughter is really, really sick, and I heard that there might be some medicine here in this village that does make miracles, um, and I'm so desperate. I'm willing to, to spend all the coin I have in order to acquire this medicine. He says, oh, where have you come from? Uh, well, my my village was destroyed by the heathens that worship the beast god. I meant on this journey, unless... I mean, where's your daughter? My, my daughter is too sick to travel, I'm sorry. So I, I, I had to leave, leave her at Pendley with the other refugees. He just sh shrugs and says, well, I think you'd probably find better medicine in Pendley than you would here. I'm sorry. I know, but I heard rumors that there there is some medicine here that is far better than anything they have in Pendley. I tried everything. I'm desperate. He shrugs and says, "We do have healers, but I mean, <clears throat> I I wouldn't. I would. I would go to Pendley to get myself uh, medicine if I needed it. But uh, uh, I suppose you, you'll you'll have to ask the mayor. I suppose. I, I nod and, and I I thank him for it. I." I I'm going to live before I get emotional and start crying. 
or begin the bit where he starts wondering if you're lying to him. Yeah, he doesn't look entirely persuaded by your story. Well, shouldn't I roll a persuasion roll if to you see? Want if, to. Yeah, maybe I can. Uh. Why must you lie to everyone, Vic? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. If you want to, let's see what he says. Oh, he's not persuaded. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he he looks at you like you've just lied to him, and then he turns away and gets back to his work. <laughs> I just stare off after V like fucking man. So I, I wasted my persuasion roll with the um with the merchant. <laughs> Like, he literally just makes shit up, I say to the blacksmith. Now, I'd like the blacksmith <laughs> to actually make me some nails. And um, if you can I acquire a, a nice big plank as well to hammer them into. Well, he he has nails for sale. I mean, how many do you want? Um, anyone who sells uh, processed wood, uh, long planks. Uh, there probably is someone who can get a plank. The lumberjack, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Why? Okay, yeah. Um, I want a plank, and I want him to hammer a bunch of nails into it so the sharp end is sticking out. He says he could do that if you want. Lovely. Okay, he'll he'll do that for a silver piece. Wonderful. Do you want to wait or? No, oh, I'll I'll pop by later on. Okay, he'll make sure it's done. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the plan now, Uzlu? We are continuing to the mayor's hut, unless someone else uh, stops us along the way. Right, okay. no. <clears throat> so it seems that if there is... I talk to Uzlu and I say, if, if there is indeed people selling uh, heretical potions, it's very hush-hush. It would have to be. Okay, you arrive at the mayor's house. <clears throat> the largest house in the town as we mm -hmm. expect um okay what are you doing well um uh i assume there's no guards at the house no, there are no, no guards like the there house. Are. all right and in that case we shall knock upon the door okay all of us have that. after a moment a peasant answers it and says uh good day my lord what can i do for you He's probably obviously not the mayor, so I'll just say, can you bring me the mayor? Or, or I'm here to seek audience with the mayor on uh, official business with the Inquisition. Ooh. I, I tell Uzzel, if you tell him you're with the Inquisition, v, I can cast a spell upon him so he wouldn't v, lie to us. V, why don't you let someone else have an interaction with the character for five minutes? I, I told uh, Uzzel okay. this in character. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't see a reason not to swing our dick around. We've got the authority to to see what they're going, see what they're doing here. Yeah. So, Uzulu, are you showing him the the paperwork? Um. Ah, uh, I guess I might, my 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 thought was that he the mayor might not see us otherwise, but he probably doesn't get much business, so it might not be worth doing after all. I well, think you, you um, already kind of told them. So yeah. No all right. Well, uh, I'll just say I'll just leave it at that and not show him the paperwork. See what he does. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you, you'll probably have to per make a persuasion roll. You, wouldn't he just run off on, on, on word of that? Oh. And fetch the mayor? I think he'd need some proof. You can't read, though. <laughs> <laughs> probably a medieval peasant. You could hold up the piece of paper and go like, here, read this. Uh, it, it has a wax seal on it. Yeah, oh. Has he ever seen one in his life? The picture book. He, he'll know what it is when he sees it. All right. I shall show him the uh, the papers then. All right. He, yeah, he takes a, one look at it and says, oh, oh um, please come in. And then he invites you in. He takes you through the house until you get to a uh, dining room where the mayor's having lunch with oh, what is presumably his wife. Um, the mayor is an older man. He, let me tell you about this, what it looks like. Um, yeah, he's an older man. He's wearing sort of beat up old fur trimmed robe. He's got a great beard, large bags under his eyes, and uh, he sat opposite his wife, and she's wearing a plain dress, but she does have a gold necklace on. It looks they, they look like they're in their 60s. They're, they're pretty damn advanced in years. Um, uh, when you come in, the mayor stands up and says, oh, who's this? And the peasant introduces you as an agent of the church and uh, excuses himself. 
the mayor walks forward and goes to shake your hand easily, saying, hello, I'm Mayor Darwell of Worry. How can I help you? I meet his hand and say, uh, we've heard troubling reports. May we talk? Uh, indeed. Let's, let's go into your study. Um, he takes you in there and, uh, and says, well, what troubling reports have you heard? All right, out of character, just to make sure I don't get this wrong, the story is that there are reports of healing potions in this village, yes? That is strange healing potions, is what you were told. Right. Okay, That yeah, that's what I thought. If you um, want me to cast Zone of Truth, I, I can do that. Would it be evident that you had done it? Yes, yes but yes. we are we are with the Inquisition, so... Um, also, uh, just to recount who is there, did you go off in a room by yourself? As far as I'm aware, I'm still by the blacksmith. Uh, no, he's taken you all, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so we're all yeah, in the I think, with um, the mayor. As long as the study isn't too small for four people, one of no, which it's, it's space for two people. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Uzalu. It is true, though. Okay, it's your um, call, Uzalu, if you want it or not. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it, uh, keep it available. So, um, okay. I'll <coughs> just, I'll just ask him straight up first. Um, the church is concerned about rumors of potentially heretical items in the area. Have you heard any such rumors? He just shakes his head and says no. But I mean, you know, peasants talk about anything they see as being something heretical. They're generally stupid, aren't they? True, but do you think the Inquisition is? Nod his head quietly in the corner. Well, they, uh, <laughs> the, you know, if they're getting their rumors from peasants, which is where most rumors begin. Sounds like he's he's questioning the Inquisition a bit here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess I I guess um, the next step is to say uh, f f I don't know if he's if he's saying no. Um, do, uh, do you have any storage rooms that we could investigate? <laughs> That's a good suggestion. <laughs> By the way, more ritualist art, just so you know. The uh, the, the yeah, mayor says, well, "Am I under investigation?" Everyone is under investigation. <laughs> when, when when the Inquisition <laughs> comes along, everyone can be. You you're not a suspect, but we have to investigate these reports. You might be. He just laughs and says, "Okay, well." And then he takes you to out of the room and to the door to the cellar and just opens and says, "Go nuts." <laughs> I have an impression that we're not going to find anything, but I guess we'll do an investigation anyway. <laughs> okay. You can make a search check in his cellar if you want. I'm only really disappointed if this literally was just a wild goose chase. You know, I can still cast Zone of Truth. You might be able to get better answers. We'll, um, we'll probably do that if we don't find anything, yeah. I love the logic. If we don't find anything heretical, we'll force him to see if we can't find anything. Well, it might not be in here. <laughs> you you don't find anything. Yeah, I know I don't, but there's four yeah. of us. Come on, guys. Uh, pitch in. Okay, I'll give it a go. Hold on. I, I don't think if we could find anything, he would allow us to just go nuts. You don't find anything out of the ordinary <coughs> in his cellar. Yeah, right. You're right, V, but we might as well look anyway. Really <laughs> okay. While we're doing this, I'm going to show off these two artworks that came in. Oh, can you roll a 20 for us, please? Uh, where's the search thing? Acrobatic, animal handling, the investigation? investigation. There you go. Did I find anything. <laughs> wow. We all just blunder around in the darkness, barely moving anything out of the way. <laughs> you look like total amateurs to him. <laughs> <laughs> just to after, say we after an hour of searching, you come back out, okay? And he, he just says, "Did you find anything?" <laughs> Too well, what to... was in there? Can I at least engage him to discuss his taste of wine or something? Can I try and steal we, something? Yeah, you, we you... found almost literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a normal cellar. It's got food in there. <laughs> he just was. Well, thank goodness for that. I'd hate to think there was heresy going on in my cellar. <laughs> <laughs> like, why down that? Indeed, we thank you for your cooperation, but the investigation isn't over yet. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll be uh, we'll having a look around. <laughs> I, I I actually uh, look at him. Why are there potions in your sock drawer? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, we'll be having an investigation of the entire village. <laughs> 
I, I take a very serious look. He, he, um, he says, I, I don't think it's going to be quite that easy. People can be uh, cagey, even if you think you're coming from the Inquisition, which I'm sure you are. Um, people don't tend to just allow the Inquisitors to burst in with no reason. Well, I, I, the only next logical step is torture. I mean, you joke, but psychological torture might actually be the next logical step with Vige magic. I mean, like, Set everything, we've, joking. everything we've seen... <laughs> yeah, well, everything we've seen so far indicates that this is just a peaceful village with nothing going wrong, which means that something's definitely going wrong. I drop a lot. I like book. that way of thinking. I, I drop a large book in order to draw attention, and I say, "This <laughs> way, did you find a large <laughs> book? <laughs> this, this, <laughs> magical one book out here." Well, oh, he clearly uh, wandered off and fetched one for this very purpose. I, I just okay. I, I slam my quarter staff into the ground in order. You to... have a quarter staff. I, <laughs> you took my I have the staff. The <laughs> <laughs> the like this. this is perfect. <laughs> I make okay. a loud noise. <laughs> Fucking hell, can we get this one to the building? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> loud noise. Oh, this is first class order. Yeah. Booming voice, V. Booming voice. <laughs> well, no, because I don't want to wake the neighbors. You, you, make a, you make a loud horse-like noise, and everyone pays attention to you, V. What is it? Does this seem funny to you? Do you think the Inquisition would have sent us here on a wild goose chase? Do you really want the next step where the soldiers of the Inquisition come here, the penitent knights, and turn all of this upside down. Okay, that is a good point, but why the horse noise? <laughs> the horse noise Sargon describes it. <laughs> you didn't say no. Okay, my, my internet actually cut out again there, so I didn't hear that. Um, oh, you missed the best are, are, you, are you busy making an enemy of the mayor of the... Yeah, so, so I stamp my foot <laughs> on the ground really hard in order to get the... <laughs> I fucking love this. We have no reason to go this fucking hot and heavy and, on this. And then, I, and then I say, <laughs> and and then I say, do you find this funny, sir? Um, he, he's not you, laughing at you. V. I'm laughing at you. Okay. Do, do you want? Well, then role play the character recorder. Uh, do, do you want the next step of this to um to to, to come about? Do you want the soldiers, the penitent knights, to come here? And turn this village upside down because if we don't go back to the Inquisition and tell that this village has nothing to hide, they will do that. Well, you know, his his answer obviously is just that they have nothing to hide. The he he will just he says, I think that you'll find that my lord will have a problem with that. He's not just going to allow the soldiers of the Inquisition to march in here without reason. Why you would even suggest such a thing is beyond me. How have I not cooperated with you so far? Man has a point. If I, there is heresy, I would like to find it too. I nod. Um, I, I say please, please that... excuse our pet vagrant. Uh, we'll be leaving now. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 the Lord, that's actually important. Could I step in and just go like, okay, yeah. <clears throat> good point, sir. Let's have a reasonable conversation. You mentioned the Lord. Um, how could we, uh, could we find this Lord so we can go insult him and transact his cellar too? <laughs> yes, you will find him in Penderley. Oh, fucking lovely. Oh, week's journey in the direction. Uh, I, I, I oh, say, um, it, so we have your full cooperation then. <laughs> yes. That, then you won't mind me casting a holy player that will ensure you tell us the truth. And if it turns out that after the prayer, you maintain that you know nothing about it, we will uh, simply leave. Right, okay. I'm just saying out of character, right? You are going way beyond your mandate. <laughs> if this guy goes to the Inquisition, you're fucked. Do you understand that? I was happy to just leave yeah, after the Senate. Of this station. fucking village, you are a pleb on a mission to find out what's happening, and you're uh -huh. threatening him with violence. Just so you know, you're you're really not <laughs> in control of what's going on here, but you're acting like you are. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> there might be a tendency among D&D players to try to get every opportunity out of a situation, but sometimes <laughs> that's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Look, this Thanks. guy isn't just a peasant. I mean, I think I think it was time to leave, perhaps before the cellar investigation failure. <laughs> I'm owning that, so after the cellar investigation failure, I think it's definitely time to leave now. We can we can reserve psychological torture for later. 
No, yeah. <laughs> because I mean, the, the fact poor, that he, that he, he, man. His, his manner indicates to me that he isn't obviously lying. It, he probably doesn't know anything about what's going on if there is something going on. So we'll just ask around the village. Wow, Uzalu should be in charge of more adventures. I would just like to note, if I had been in charge to begin with, none of this would have happened. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, because the Inquisition wouldn't have been able to pay you enough money to do the quest in the first place. Yes, but that doesn't defeat my point, now, does it? <laughs> it kind of does indirectly, actually. All I said was that none of this would have happened. Not how. <laughs> right, so, um, Uzulu, what would you like to say to the mayor? I, I would just like, well, I, I kind of already said it, like, apologies for the pet vagrant, and we're, we're just going to ask around. When, when I said, if you don't mind, we'll be here to investigate, I didn't mean we're going to break into everyone's house. I just meant we're going to ask some questions. We're just going to stick around the village for a bit. Says, I was expecting... <clears throat> he says that's fine. Let, I, I'm yeah. more than willing to help. Let's go and see the priest at the chapel and see what he has to say. Great. Let's do that. So, okay, now give me a second. Let me... Uh... Hey, I've got I've got two new arts to show. Here's here's the first one, Arch's cart. <laughs> Everything is as it should be, <laughs> including the dying horse. I love the shield. And the second one is Arch shield shopping. <laughs> Thank you again, Rich Willis. Hmm, who's this portly gentleman we've encountered? That's the mayor. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, you go to the chapel and it's still closed, even though it's like 11 o'clock in, in the morning. Um, so the mayor bangs on the church door for some time. The sin of sloth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bitch, get out of the way. Um, so yeah, the, the mayor bangs on the, the door for some time and yells. Um, get in, get up, get up. And uh, after about 10 minutes of banging, a very, when I, oh, I didn't get him to make me that thing. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just find someone who's going to fill in for a priest. There we go. Um, yeah, after about 10 minutes of banging and yelling, uh, the door opens, and there is a very hunched over, unshaved, unwashed old man with a bald scalp and boil on, boils all over his face, who stinks of booze. And he says, what do you want, Dowell? Uh, the mayor replies, these men have a question for you about rumours that they have heard. Go and make yourself presentable. And uh, he just turns around, leaving the door of the church open, and walks back in. The mayor and yeah, yeah. to follow him. All right, then, well, then, let's do so. Uh, I assume the rest of you are with me? I assume they're with you unless they say they're not. <laughs> yep, let's go. Okay, you head into the church, and it's musty and stinks of booze. Um, the priest goes up to a bowl, starts washing his face a bit, and then, you know, like, you know, snots out his nose and shit like this, and then just turns around and walks into his like quarters next to the like main entrance of the church. And he comes out with an amber bottle of wine that's half full and just starts drinking it and says, "What do you want?" Well, firstly, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. He's also a, a man of the church. And I think you and him are going to get on really well. Okay, and who are you introducing him to? V. This is uh, the local priest of uh, Warre. He's uh, very dedicated to his uh, to his um, religion. The, As you, you see, he is in deep communion with the Holy Spirit <laughs> right this moment. <laughs> I, I, I tried to hide my disgust. F Father Gadin turns to you, V, and says, he gives you an Erothian greeting, like, you know, the Lord's blessings to you, but he slurs it somewhat. <laughs> blessing upon you as well, Father. 
No one in the scene likes this character, but I like this character. <laughs> I, I realize that even though I have the righteous moral high, high horse here, I'm not going to moral fag at him because I have no power in this situation. The first time in the entire story that you decide not to moral fag, and it's the time I wanted you to. <laughs> no, 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 the one time you actually have the full and uncontested moral high ground, you choose to not make use of it. <laughs> but, but the second he meets a friendly, happy great mayor who's just like, hey, I'm happy to be sister and pontificate at him about he's going to get the Inquisition to burn his wood. <laughs> you know what? Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, hold on. I just want you to make him a bit uneasy, V. Okay. In the name of God, stop drinking. <laughs> that's, that's not quite what I meant. <laughs> right, you actually cast a spell on that. Yes, in the name of God. Use your words, V, but not those down, words. Put down your drink and listen to Does us. Does anyone want to intervene in V about to do something stupid? Why is I, it stupid? He, he hold on, hold on. He he is the village drunk. No one else is here to witness this. The mayor, Even right. if he the mayor. The mayor is outside. No, he's not. Oh, the mayor is in here as well. Yes. Instead of stopping this, I okay. think I'll choose to do damage control instead. Just go off to the mayor and like, as fellow nobles, I want you to understand these people are batshit. Take <laughs> everything you see in here with a pinch of salt. No, hold on, hold on. I thought the mayor is outside and we're inside. Well, this is where right I was casting. You. Okay, right, then I'm not casting this spell. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, I wanted to do was say something like, just say something sly that cuts to his uh, religious fervor. Maybe he'll have a quip in return about how wine is actually No, I, I know these type of people, like, I, I, I work in the hospital, there's nothing you can say to them that will get them. <clears throat> Your character doesn't... They, they already moral fag themselves into that position, they're just... All right, look, it, it's not <laughs> that important, but just bear in mind, V, that this seems to me to be completely different from how you've been for the rest of the campaign. <sighs> Alright, oh. it's it's fine, though. It's, it's a minor thing. I was, I was hoping that the interaction would happen naturally, but it doesn't matter. Um, so... I, I don't suppose it's going to help to just ask him, but it's as a formality, I think we probably should. Um, I'll ask him the same thing I asked the mayor. We've heard reports of heresy around this village. Do you know uh, of any such rumors? He just kind of sloshes the bottle of wine at you and says, heresy? Everyone here is close to God. Everyone! And then he just takes a long glug from the bottle. Surely, I, I will actually ask. Um, I, I would say normally the the confession is is uh, maintained secret. However, when the church investigates such matters, it's okay to be upfront. Has any of the peasants um, during confession say that they have drank some miraculous healing potions or they have witnessed things unnatural? He burps at you and just uh, says curtly, how do you think I know they're all close to God, you moron? The only thing that they're drinking in this town is this wine. Hmm. I like to use the investigation skill to see if he's lying or not. Uh, is that investigation? Yeah, I think. Or insight. insight. Yeah, insight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> um, he doesn't look like he's lying. This wine. Say, is there anything special with this uh, wine, old priest? That's just why looks I asked you goes, it's delicious, my lord. <clears throat> oh, that's fantastic. Do you have any more lying around? No, this is all mine. I, I lean forward <laughs> and, and, I, and I, a bit contradictory there. <laughs> I, I put one gold piece on the table and I say, if you can think really, really hard and tell me some people that are close to God, but not as close as the others, if you know what I mean, you, you can buy as much wine as you want from this. Uh, Another vegan, let's see if it pays off. L little donation to the church. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. He leans forward and you can just smell the stench. 
Oh, Sargon's gone. And Sargon again. <coughs> By the way, V, you said that 10 gold was all you had. That's why I accepted you paying me that. Now, you'll spend <laughs> money left, right, and center. I did live. Sargon can check my character sheet, and he can see that I had more money. All right. We are going to do something about that sooner or later. Sargon, I think your internet disconnected just before you told us what he said. Yep. Oh, um, uh, yeah, okay, he said, uh, he just leans forward and burps in V's face and uh, and says, firstly, that's not enough for a bottle of this fine wine. <laughs> Secondly, everyone is not, no one is close enough to God. No one is as close as they should be, you know it. And thirdly, I don't take bribes. Oh, Ooh. holy shit, we found a principal drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Let's I take away his alcohol because he's he's making it sound special, and I'm paranoid. <laughs> you just want thing. Maybe it is special. <laughs> Might be no, special. No, I, I take the gold piece back, and I I look to Zolo and I say I, I don't think he knows anything. Uh, well, actually, this does reduce the list of suspects. If he knows everyone, and everyone is close to God, and the people who don't go to church, <laughs> the the people who miss mass. Those are the ones we should talk to. I doubt anyone misses mass in this village. I, I look towards the mayor uh, and and towards the priest again, and I say, "Are there any people who are in the village but don't go to church on Sunday?" Well, I mean, people go to church every day, but really, yeah. he he just turns to you and says, "With him running this church, yes, but that's not their fault." I see. I, I suppose I, I'd want to ask the mayor in private, um, <clears throat> would it be unusual uh, in this world for there to be priests that were this uh, special? Special. Who, who are you asking this exactly? Well, I'm, I'm asking you know, just, just about the world. My character would, would have an idea if there's drunks in most village chapels. I don't think there are most chapels, no. In that case, I, I'd prefer to ask the mayor uh, out of earshot of the priest. So I guess we'll we'll bid the priest farewell for now and ask the um, mayor. Before that, okay. I'd like to ask the priest uh, where he acquired this fine vintage. Is it local? Mm -hmm. He says from the general store that's in the main town. If you've got the oh. penny, then you can have it. How much is it? Six gold pieces a bottle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this, uh, no, this, I mean, this is an obvious hint. Well, hold on. If people don't go to church, how the fuck is he having money to buy no, wine? That doesn't matter, but this priest is dead drunk off his ass on six gold a piece fucking wine. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Like, okay, so... And he's drinking. I think he might have a guilty conscience. It's, it's not only that. It's like, people don't go to church. They don't donate money, right? He doesn't take bribes. And yet, he, he has money to buy six gold wine a bottle, but... <laughs> I think he's being threatened into this, maybe. All right. So, what if you thinks he's getting um, way too much money? So he's on some sort of, uh, some sort of. Uh, yeah, I actually asked this. And what if father, you think that he has father, just paid, father, spending the last of his money because he's he knows he's, he's not going to have much longer to spend it. I, I say, father, I'm bewildered. You say that people don't really come to mass. Um, that you don't. That. He didn't say that. Well, well, didn't you say that... Um, Uzulu took the mayor aside, and the mayor said that he was basically a slovenly timekeeper. So if people don't go to church, it's often because he hasn't opened up. Yeah. Well, I, I actually... Father, I, I'm a little bit bewildered. The door was closed when we got here. I understand there's not that many people that go to Mass. Um, where do you have money to purchase such an expensive wine? He just says there's none of your business. I look towards Uzulu if he wants to push this matter any further. Uzulu is not there. Uh, Uzulu, in fact, has done us a, uh, a favor by taking the mayor outside. V, it's time I, for I that creepy that. touch him and make him I, tell the I truth not, thing. I did not actually do that. I was contemplating it, but okay, uh, do it then. <laughs> <laughs> I was contemplating it, but then you jumped in to say something else before I did. I thought I you just the, said you did. Okay, I miss it. I rolled. I the think. Point. Insight, and he wasn't lying. So you don't yeah. think he's lying? Why not just do it? You've got do a it. good role, and he doesn't appear to be lying. He yeah. he looks too inebriated to lie. I think our next stop is the general store. I'm quite happy to to move on if you lads are. Yeah. Yep. 
Thank All right. In that case, we'll bid the priest good day and step outside. <laughs> when we get there, I'm going to, as I uh, uh, detailed, ask the um, the mayor how you came across this uh, man of the cloth and why you keep him if he's so um, incompetent. The mayor just sighs and says, well, I mean, I could complain to the church, but he hasn't always been this way. It's been since the death of his sister that he's really started drinking. When did his sister die? About two years ago from tuberculosis. Okay. I'm not seeing any leads there. Mm, wrath right. of God. Yes, yes. Unless any of the rest of you have any more to add to that uh, line of questioning, I think we'll head to the general store. No. It's fine. Right, okay. I've, Is the mayor uh, giving got... us a guided tour here, or it, would he prefer for <laughs> us to do it ourselves? The mayor just says, where do you want to go now? And uh, okay. if you say the general store, he says, okay, well, I'll take you to the general store. Let's see where the priest gets his wine. Yep. I've got two arts. There's the first one. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Here's the second one. <laughs> it looks similar, but it's a new one. <laughs> That's a, v, v, you, you, you need to calm down. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Mate, I've been waiting for months to for, use for the, any the, sort of remote power. intimidation. It's building up, is all I'm saying. <laughs> At the, the moment I find the weakling, I'm going to unleash <laughs> Raph upon him. Okay. It's, uh, okay. I mean, we th there's probably children in the village. We've got to keep V away from them, I guess. I would or you need to yeah, get a child and me in the same building so I can get To be fair, magic. if somebody would know about Miss uh, Deeds going on, it would be the children. I say we capture one and force it to tell us what it knows. Oh, actually, no, 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 no hold on. That's that's a good idea. Do, do I, yes, know this? I know it is. Do, do I notice any beggars as we're going by, or you know, any, uh, any very, people? The village is too small for beggars. It, any it, homeless? It's a, it's a good concept, Arch, but with a very poor, a poor plan for implementation. No, because I'm not going to be taking the blame if it goes wrong. Well, then I'm going to be taking the point of my spear. Then, if you if you try to uh, impugn my name by kidnapping a child on my mandate, of course mm. not. We'll blame V. Jesus, don't be paranoid. <laughs> Okay. Do we still have... right, yeah, you you go into the general store. There are you know yeah. various there are villages in there. Is there is there a bell at the door that goes like clicking? No, there's not a bell at the door. Um, <laughs> but you go in and it's just you know a pretty general store. There's food and clothes and you know textiles and stuff like that. And Arch, shopping. let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we we've entered the shop for <laughs> the explicit purpose of not shopping. What's it, for it, sale? It's an exuberant shopkeep. I ask uh, the the mayor: Is, is there any apothecary, um, alchemist, or you know, like a village witch somewhere where people go to buy? Village uh, witch. Uh, well, <laughs> is there a local witch in this high literal? A local herbalist. <laughs> let's put it like that. Can we can we deal with the fact that you've just walked into the shop first? Okay. Right. I don't know why that we're can be the next question when we do the shop fee. Um, so at, at the counter is a 30 something woman who's just serving customers. All right. Um, in that case, I think we'll continue the drill. We'll ask her the same question we asked the rest. Okay. Well, um, you are you Q. Um, and when the Q is oh, okay, yeah. on, uh, the mayor says, Efrith, these are. Investigators here on business for the church. Uh, I'd like you to cooperate with them as much as you can and tell them anything that they need to know. <laughs> and she turns to you and says, Yes, what is it you'd like to know? We are here uh, on reports that were given that the Inquisition has received about a particular kind of heresy. Uh, particular um, uh, brews were reported to be potentially heretical. Do you know anything about uh, any sort of potentially heretical substances? Killing potions. Heretical brews? I, I don't know anything about that. Again, we were called strange brews. Uh, calling them heretical might confuse the poor peasants. 
Are healing potions heretical? I doubt it, considering it I think we've used are. one. Depends on what stories are gone. It depends what they are. I mean, like, mo most healing potions that you'll find will be made of some sort of herbs, so no. Oh, I didn't know that. Do, do you All have right. any healing potions for sale? She says no. Oh, hold on. But, Before um, this goes on, I wanted to do this on the first thing she said. Okay. Um, she said she didn't know. Sorry, what, what, was the, what was the thing you asked for again? Uh, she said she didn't know of any... It was just to the initial quest, and she didn't know of any uh, heretical substances. Um, well, I mean, she doesn't appear to be lying. No? Yeah. She, well, she, she's she bewildered, that one. you know, she's just a, a peasant shopkeeper. That, so she, mm. she looks a little bit nervous. I mean, she's just like, I don't that, know. That she, have... the, the only thing we sell here is our famous amber wine. That's it? I, that like, fucking you know, thing that matches like, your description, oh, really, obviously. That's that, that she, buy a bottle. No. That, does she have any um, healing potions for sale? No. Does she know where we could get any healing potions? Like, is there a village alchemist or anything like that? She... Um, she thinks about it and says, well, I mean, you might want to go and see Margaret, who lives out in the woods. She often yeah. gets good, you know, herbs and stuff like that to heal people. The witch! The witch. So when I asked for the villain's witch, why didn't they tell about Margaret? Because she's not the witch. witch. She's living in the woods alone and making herbs. She doesn't make her a witch, she is. Of course, so, I bet she who, has the weird nose as well. God, the I distinction the between a herbalist and a witch, witch, and witch is where they live. Middle ages, didn't they? Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry again. Um, we'll, um, um, uh, easily, sorry. I was just saying that for, for V, the distinction between a herbalist and a witch is where they live. <laughs> exactly, like decent herbalists live in town, and they're men. They don't live near the town. <laughs> they live in the town, and they're men. Maybe sometimes they're old widows. Okay, that's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Did your husband die before you? You're a witch. <laughs> no, no v, I don't have okay, cause listen, to say listen, if your husband died before you, case and you live in the forest, and you live outside the town, and you deal with herbalism, Lots you're a fucking witch. Get with the Inquisition, Sargon. What are you doing? Lots of people live in the... Like, like when I say living in the forest, like he's moral fagging now. It's like I, I just don't get it. <laughs> Surrounded by forest. I mean, you don't have to go very far to live in the forest. Okay, and and do you need to do herbalism as well and heal people? Well, some people need it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I guess a it's witch does need job. the protection of the people. V, if you were female by your standard, you'd probably be a witch. <laughs> Maybe. And you know what I was doing? I would live in the fucking city. Probably yeah. have a good husband as well. But um, she she does, you know, she the, the lady says, you really should, you know, try our wine. It really is. If you've come all this way, it's it's really something remarkable. Damn, is this quest going to end up being like ever so made? fucking subtly that it's the fucking wine? Why yeah, the no, fucking it, wine? This quest is going to end up being they make really good wine and the Inquisition are just squares. I, uh, I ask, uh, well... Uh, do, do we get a sample or do we have to buy it right away? You have to buy it. Um, well, I, I tried to persuade her for a sample. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, that's a good good persuasion roll, V. Jesus, Um, you you've got to haggle with her for a bit. She's pretty damn tight fisted. After a few minutes. She uh, reaches under the counter, pulls up a bottle of wine, gets a small mug, and gives you just a drop. Okay. I uh, what 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 would I have to do in order to like, you know, do the smelling and see if there's like look, look at that make a the, perception check if you want. Yeah. Smelling, look at it under the sunlight. Do a religion check as well. I don't you know if that would help. Under the sunlight, it's in a wooden mug. But um. <laughs> Heretical. God damn it, it's heresy. <laughs> it's um it's it smells like a nice spicy wine. I mean the blood of children is in this glass. Are you gonna try it? 
Uh, yes. Critical fail. You bump your head on the glass while you're sniffing it. Okay. Um. Yeah. It, it tastes pretty good. Hmm. It's unusual, but it's definitely nice tasting. What? 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 what is unusual about it, though? You can't tell. <laughs> Would I have to make a roll in order to be? <laughs> I'm just giving you the one perception. I'm a bleeding okay. fucking bottle. I uh, I ask her what's in it. She says she can't tell you. It's a secret recipe. I saw that coming. I was going to ask earlier, but... Oh, um, you okay. to Cola Factory. Excuse me, what's in it? They can tell you fuck off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I think the plan is to put a put a note in this because the wine may be suspicious and go see the herbalist because if anyone in this village knows if the wine is suspicious or not, it's going to be the herbalist. Or the apothecary, whatever we're calling her. Just well, not to witch. be fair, okay, hold on. To be fair, the, the priest is chugging it and there's nothing wrong with him so yeah there's nothing wrong with him except with being him. addicted to the wine slurring his words but and that's, not waking that's called up. being a drunk mate listen he might have been near death at some point recently and then made a miraculous recovery i think we go see the herbalist okay we have to see the herbalist. Right, again, we, we politely thank the woman and leave the store, and then we ask the mayor where we might find the herbalist. Okay, Can the mayor, we stop mayor, leaving well. stuff? Maybe I wanted to buy things. Jesus. Then buy it, Arch! Buy it! Do it, <laughs> faggot! Do it! <laughs> Can you afford it? Actually, yes, because V has given me a fair bit of his money. <laughs> Spend half the money you got of this mission on the wine. Okay, so what what are you doing, Arch? Are you buying anything or what? It's clearly the wine, you monkeys. Ah. I'll buy the wine. So working though, Arch. Even then, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the wine. I mean, V drank it; he didn't die. I don't know. Arch is the one. It's like the, the priest is drinking the wine. It is the wine. It's like the the GM is telling you very, very fucking clearly that it is the wine. Arch, what if the wine is really right? Arch? That's interesting. Do you think I may have planned in advance for your meta gaming? Uh, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's fucking meta meta gaming right here. So, so you're asking, like, is Sargon really that smart to plan in advance for meta gaming? Do I know that Arch is a GM and knows his stuff? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I'd like to credit. We will uh, ignore the wine and we'll go to the herbalist who doesn't oh, make oh, the oh, fucking oh, wine. Oh, hold on. Oh, 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 the wine. Oh, the wine. <laughs> Steal <laughs> the wine. Okay. Steal it. <laughs> Do nothing of the sort. Okay. I want to credit Oryx in the chat for saying, wait, wait, wait. This is the same thing that happened with the mead in the first village on that first episode. They're going to turn into zombies. I'm not saying it's even likely, but if it's possible, I, I don't think it is, because if that was the case, the priest would have already been affected. Oh, well, possibly. We don't have long this to is why I drank it. it. This is why I trust it. Okay. You knew this, did you? Or the wine, think... the thing that turned people into zombies could be the failed version of the wine. That's true. Mm. It, it wasn't I think wine that turned that. anyone into zombies, because no one was turned into zombies. Well, they, they were affected. They were 28 days later in. And you do you even think, have do you think we should actually resolve this discrepancy? Because we're all, we're all, I think all the audience is thinking of them as zombies, but Sargon keeps saying they're not. No, they're, they't not zombies. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to just stab them to make them die. <sighs> they're, they're 28 the zombies are using here. Is that, is that a fair assessment? I, I'm, not, I'm not telling you anything further, but they weren't zombies. All right. Were they I actually <laughs> would like a hunting trap though. Give me a hunting trap. You probably have to go to the blacksmith for that. What? Is this like a small, effeminate boy that's in camera? Doesn't this work it's, like it's a general or... store in a, in a fucking not... village in the yeah. woods. They must have hunting traps. Surely. Come on. You, you think the, the general the, store gets her supplies the, from the blacksmith? The, the blacksmith makes them on request. Oh, God. Why didn't he tell me that when I was over there asking, what do you sell? Arch, we're not going to hunt the herbalist. Request. Let's yeah. go to the witch, can we please? <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. I would like to ask the shopkeeper here uh, where she gets the wine. She makes it. She makes it. Is she the one who makes it, or does somebody else make it? She says, I'm not going to tell you that. <coughs> okay. No, she's going to tell us that, because we're looking for mysterious potions. <laughs> okay. 
Why would a shopkeeper not tell you who the source of their special popular wine is? Let me put it this way, okay? We're, we're, we're with the feds right now, okay? She has to tell us. No, she doesn't have to tell you where, where the supplier of her wine is. Who are those that, that like, we're with the health inspection, basically, right? Now. <laughs> Fucking health inspection? Well, it's, it's a health inspection for the spirit, okay? Because if the soul gets tainted... <laughs> That's far worse than if the body gets tainted. So, you know, I don't think guys, this mud hut is going to pass the health inspection. Guys, if you want to pursue the wine angle, I think I have a way in. If if you actually want me to try this, okay, okay, I'm going to Dead say, listen, I, let's see if this pays off. Let's see if my gambit pays off. Um, I'm going to say, listen, um, I used to brew my own wine at Penderley Abbey, and I'm going to show her aged bottle of wine that I have in my inventory, which we got from the crypts. Mm. I, I have a bottle of red wine. Holy shit, that's a callback. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, listen, I, I, I would like to, to, to meet whoever makes your wine because I would like a job making wine here in the village. If the year is written on the wine, this is going to be bad? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I was going to say, she's, she asked to see the bottle. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll say I'll say this is representative of my work. I, this is not my bottle, but I've learned <laughs> in this style. I've learned in this style from the Abbey. I can make wine like this. Would you like to try some? She wants, she wants the bottle. I'll show her the bottle. Give her a a one drop of sample. I'll give her one drop. <laughs> fucking desecrated bottle that is filled with fucking sludge, and you're going to well, say that's the cleaned it. Your work. <laughs> I no. certainly cleaned it. <laughs> she, uh, she, yeah, she, she takes the cork out and then just like, oof, this has turned to vinegar. Well, Dev on, Gambit's man. failed to fail. That's not my. That no, was no, no. a horrible idea, Dev. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I had two bottles from from the crypts. One was one was actually red wine, and and one was just the sludge. Yeah, and the actual red wine has turned into red vinegar. Oh, I I look at Uzalu, uh, uh, Sorry, I look at Arch and I say, "You're a noble country." Intimidate her to tell us shit. No, you fuckers were like, "It's not the wine. It's not the wine." I was like, "Let's get the wine." I'm not, I'm a I'm fucking. Actually kind of, I'm Listen, actually kind of convinced it's the wine. Why, why would the shopkeeper want to tell you anything about the 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 best selling product she has? Gentlemen, can I just can I just emphasize this point? We can come back here. Okay. Right. We don't well, have to do everything now. Sargon, but to answer your question, because number one, we're from out of town, and number two, we, we've flown around Inquisition papers. Like, we, we don't need a reason. We okay. have the papers to make her. Yes. You, you don't have the authority to make her tell you about her business? Really? The Inquisition papers? Well, okay, what is the remit of the Inquisition papers? Because they don't seem to be for much. It's so people will talk to you and cooperate with you. Okay. Well, she's not well, talking she's, she's not cooperating. She's, well, she doesn't she really tell you where the source of her business is. Can I start smiting her and say stop resisting while I do it? Can I carry V out? I, I yeah. did leave with you, by the way. It's just that this, this bitch is infuriating. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong. No, v, seriously, right? If if you if you're running a small store in a village and you have a popular product that people okay. travel to come and get, and then someone's like, "Hey, where are you, where are you getting all this?" And you can be like, "Oh, I'll just tell you." Let, let me put it this way: If the SJW decolonize your mind, come into my little village in my little store, I want to cooperate so they fuck off. Here's <laughs> the thing: We went in hard. We for for went the um, option of subtlety. We went up immediately. Told them we are Inquisition. The mayor knows everything we've done. If these people are guilty of this, we have already tipped our hand ages ago. We need to force it through. There isn't an option to leave and come back if these are the people we're looking for. We've already warned them. We're here. Might precipitate them to make a move though. Yes, to kill us. <laughs> you know what? Fine, I, I, I will. I will buy a bottle of her wine. How much was it? Six gold pieces. Six gold pieces. Fine. Mm. Um, twenty-two minus six. Uh, twenty minus four. Sixteen. 
I, I pour a glass for her and then I slip it over. Could you please drink that? You don't have a cup. Can I, I ask her for a cup? She says I'll be a silver piece. Give her a silver piece? I think we have cups in the cart, V. Okay, I, I want to do it now because this is annoying. Uh, I, I say I pour a little and then I, uh, I slip it to her and I say cheers. Okay, she takes it and drinks it. I nod. Okay, it was a little we can leave. We already have. It's not the wine. <laughs> right. To the herbalist, then. Does yeah, the man I mean, know where the herbalist as you, is? As you leave, the mayor says that, honestly, it really is great wine. So me, me and my wife, we absolutely adore a bottle of it in the evening. I, I look at him and I say, the wine? yeah, I, I look at him and I say, well, it, it did taste really weird. I wanted to see if uh, everything... Uh, was safe for the drink. Salt okay, I, I'm, I'm asking the uh, the mayor. How much of the village drinks the wine regularly? Well, lots of people. Six gold coins per bottle. How can they afford it? They can't. Always. Good share it around. A lot of the time they can't, and they get annoyed. They wish they could. <laughs> they wish they could. Jesus, it's like six gold. Yeah, it's it's expensive wine, but if you can get it, it's very very good. Does anyone know how she makes it? I never asked. Hmm. All right. Um, I still think herbalist. You guys okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, the uh, the mayor gives you instructions on how to get there. So it's just about half an hour's walk down a path leading out of the village, just into the forest. All right. The witch. We're off to see the witch. Right. Okay. As you, um, yeah, the mayor. Mayor goes back to his uh, place, and you go sort of this way. Um, when I actually un, when I actually reveal the area, so I, I give the wine bottle to Arch. I ask if he notices anything unusual, considering he's a noble and he knows his wine. We're going to a herbalist right now. If anything, we can ask her to test it. Hmm. But we're not going to drink it. We're going to analyze it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but as as you start like wandering out of the village, you notice that there are about I don't know, it must be about nine or ten young men just sort of clustering around, watching you leave. Asbos loitering. Kind of. They look well, like yeah. All right. Well, I mean, every society's got to have youths, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, sure that's all there is. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk to them? No, V. I, I was literally about to say, barring V going over and trying another V's gambit for no reason, <laughs> I think it's time to <laughs> just leave them alone. All right. We'll we'll we'll, we'll address this later, possibly. Okay. See what happens. Okay. Yeah. You uh you head off. You travel for about fifteen minutes. And you need to make a perception check. Cool. Huh. Now, perception check. One sec. Combat, combat. No. Oh, shit. See whether you can see something. Uh, top corner? Maybe they're following us. Maybe they want my wine. <laughs> Maybe they want my wine. I'm not going to get your wine. I think that's vinegar, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got to play chips. Um, <laughs> the pictures start to come together. They're just chavs. <laughs> oh my god, Devil! Devil's character is aware that he's just an avatar that's controlled by an all-powerful being. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good perception. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You uh, after about fifteen minutes walking, you you notice that like quite far back in the trail, but you, you're sure that there is someone following you. Let's hide in a bush and wait for them to come closer. I mean, we, we, we could hide or we could just wait and see what happens. Like, I, I guess. I mean, let me, let me try a skill, a sneak check. I, I will basically just try to dart in a bush while the party is moving for it. All right, that works. Well, hold on. Are we still on our cart with our horses? Are we? Yeah, we're, we're actually yeah, rolling yeah, out. We're right? on a cart with a horse, right? Yeah, the rest of us are, but V is starting into a bush. Yeah. 
Okay, that's um, 11. Right. Uh, so the rest of you continuing or, or what? Yeah, we'll continue as normal. And just leave V with an 11 stealth check in a bush. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yes. Here, I will, excuse try, to ditch v. No, no, I will try to stealth so that V doesn't die back there because that's a poor stealth check. Yeah. To be fair, I have plus four on stealth. Jesus, never mind. <laughs> yeah. okay. How about we just stop the fucking cart at this point? <laughs> v and I both fall out of the cart. <laughs> so maybe maybe Usually should try a stealth check. We, we both have the point, same stealth. It's just like, it was a bad roll, yeah. I'm trying thinking maybe I run back up the path and just see if anyone scuttles off. Because th these stealth checks are not going to help us. No, just just go. Just It's two people, right? So if there's trouble, you can come back. Yeah, Devo us. rushed in to help and actually made you more visible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So what, what, what exactly is the party doing? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, fine. We're going back into the car. <laughs> it might actually be best for for us to just like charge back and see if we find anyone. Yeah. Which one of us is the fastest moving? I think that's me. <laughs> yeah. Who? Sorry. Dev. Dev. Uh, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the biggest as well. Yeah. All right. I, In I, that I case, have a speed of forty. Everyone else has, has I think, thirty. <clears throat> All right. In that case, um, you can be our scout. We want you to run back up the path and see if you see anyone following us. You've got 25 perception, so you'll be aware of the vibration of the quarks in their, in their skin cells, so um, that, that should help. All right, that's what I'll do. I'll run behind. But, but don't engage. If, if you find anyone, come back here. Yeah. You're, you're running back to the village, right? Like, towards the He's village. You're just running back up the path where, where, where he heard there might be someone following us. Okay, uh, make a perception check, Dev. Another <laughs> one? Roll low now. Alright, that's... Ooh! Oh, la, la. Very Jesus. good. Um, right, yeah, you, you start sort of pounding off down the path, and you don't get too far before you notice in the distance um, like the, you know, the, the sort of shaking and scuffling of bushes as uh, whoever was following you on the path runs into the, the tree line. Can I tell how many people? No. How far away? At the edge of your sight, like the, the, the as far a distance as you can see. Well, I guess I'm I'm running after Devo as well at this point. Well, Why no, we're not going gonna... that. V, you have no idea what's going on. You're not running after Devo. Well, I, I, I see Devo darting off. No, so... I'm afraid I'm not. Like I, the, the the campaign is not in the favor of the players. Okay. The players just exist in the world. I'm sorry. Oh well, no, but the the way I'm seeing it is like Devo darted off. So I just decided to run on back after you him. You didn't. Right? And now you're acting on information your character doesn't have. Okay. This is a plan that we discussed in the card. We just didn't say yeah, that we did. That I would scout. Was yeah. So I, I've obviously seen people duck into the bushes. So yeah. I will run back to the cart and inform everybody and jump back on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we know we're being followed now. Yep. Or we know that there was a very scared woodland fauna at a particularly <laughs> convenient moment. Could have been. Okay, V, here's what you do. You sit in the back of the cart with your crossbow, aim behind us. Yep. Yeah, it's a good start. Okay. Um, if they're following us, what do you reckon the chances are they know we're going to the herbalist already? We've Probably already not. told everyone in the fucking village we're going to the herbalist. We told the mayor. Well, who else would be living out here? That, that, that part's true, actually. All right, so we can assume that they know we're going to the herbalist. Um, I guess there's not much we can do. They're just gonna. I think they're probably just seeing what we do. They're not actually trying to like fuck with us for now. Yeah. Um, or they would have done it earlier. Um, maybe. But yeah, okay. Let's um, let's just keep going down the path and keep a lookout behind us. Okay, so we discovered people following us down a path they know we're taking, and we're gonna ignore them. If they'd set a trap. They wouldn't need to this follow is us. Well, yes, they would. This is textbook ambush. Then they would. They, I guess that maybe they wouldn't go ahead. They're a long way behind us, though. How do we know that? They probably know these paths a hell of a lot better than we do. Yeah, well, there's still no straighter path than a straight path. There is a straighter path in this case. Violence. 
<laughs> a bit metaphorical, but okay. Well, Archer, well, it's well, interesting that you, you chimed in with this criticism after we decided what to do. Well, Have we decided what to do? Here, well, here's our choices, okay? We can keep going and fall into whatever trap that's ahead. We can stay here, wait for them to catch up, or we can turn around and confront them. That's pretty much the only choices we have. Turning around is not going to allow us to confront them. They won't fight. We've kind of seen that already. Even one of us wasn't a juicy enough target. If we go forward, we might hit a trap and an ambush. And the only other option is to wait where we are, which is um, probably going to result in nothing. We charge happening. them. We have a horse. They don't. We have four horses. Into the woods. So, is is there any more circuitous path ahead, or is it just basically a straight path with dense woodland on either side? Well, it's it's not straight. It winds, but it's not like you know. It's it's just a regular sort of forest path. Hmm. All right. Well, I, we don't seem to have much of a choice. Arch, do you have a, a different suggestion? Yes. I guess on my horse, I ride back to the bushes. You can go for it if you want, though I don't know how good your horse is going to be getting through the, the foliage. It doesn't need to. Okay, uh, is anyone going with him? I am. Um, You're going with him? Yes. We'll proceed more slowly on the cart and keep an eye out. Yeah, I'll stay with you, Uzla. Oh, this is a great oh. idea. Perception? If you would like to, I mean, I, I, yeah, you, yeah, you start riding down back down the path. Um, I'm gonna say, um, yeah, you, you only go for like five minutes before you, like, in the distance, notice rustling of bushes, and you can you can hear voices like they're they're trying to sort of shout in a low whisper, you know, sort of like, you know, shut up, shut up, sort of. Yeah, I'll start riding towards the bushes while shouting, come out, we know you're there. Okay, you don't get a response. I, I use my booming voice in the name of God, come up. Okay. <sighs> don't. I did. Relying on the respect <laughs> for God of youths. Yeah, they, no one comes out of the bushes. Your okay. voice booms. I, no, I can't I'm... earthquake as well. I can use two of them. Thing. Okay. E either way, you don't get a response. Well, they probably shit their pants by now. So, if Shoot you want to just do... okay, so so are you fairly close to them? Are you within striding distance of them? Because if so, you could shout to us and we could come over. Well, I am shouting. I'm assuming you you'll know where I am. Yeah, I'm shouting as well. Guys, come over here. Um, yeah, I'll dishorse and walk towards the bush. I'll shout again. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're significantly you're, you're a significant distance from the bush. As soon as you start dehorsing, you hear rustles, and then you know you can hear footsteps running off in all directions into the woods. But can't we see anything? Like, what exactly is this? You, you can't. Well, I mean, you haven't made a perception check. I oh, know you have, but you can't see anything. But you you don't even notice which bushes are rustling. But Arch does. Well, they've scattered, they're unlikely to come back. Yes. At the very least, we've scattered them. That's a step forward. I look We're less likely to get attacked from both in front and behind now. I look towards so Arch and I ask, my lord, do you want me to smite the bush? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanted you to shoot into the bush before you started shouting at it. Maybe if we were lucky, we'd either scare the shit out of them, I, I or we'd wound one of them. I, I think this is um, this is the, 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 the the top use tier. Use all your spells before the trap is sprung. Good, good plan. I, I, I think this is the top <laughs> tier V gambit. Burn down the forest. Yes, <laughs> fuck it. There's something the, in the bush. The, the forest is very green and healthy. It's not going to burn down. No, I, I I cast burning hands. This is something in the bush. Okay, you set a bush on fire. Okay, <laughs> I, I think I set more than a bush on fire. But all right. No, burning hands isn't a very big uh, fifteen, 15 foot, foot cone. Foot, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's a section of bush that's on fire. <laughs> I, I hope more catches it. I spit at it in disgust and I I go back. <laughs> <laughs> all I wanted you to do is to fire a crossbow bolt in there and the off chance we hit something. <laughs> well, there was something in the bush, now there's not. I think we can go back. Are you going back? 
I hope this starts a forest fire, by the way. I hate this no, place, and I hate these starts, people. It sounds sorry, uh, burning out as you leave. <laughs> by the time you get back to us and you re regale us with your story, I speculate that they're probably just village youths who are curious about us and with there's probably no danger ahead. But we should still be careful anyway. If they come back, they will, they will have the same faith like the bush. Okay. Uh, are you continuing on, Uzalu? Yes, uh, but slowly and, and, and with the awareness that there might be something going on. I don't know if that would change anything in, okay. in reality. You carry on. Mm -hmm. After about another 10 minutes, make another awareness check. Three, three. Ugh. Sixteen. Okay, Dev, once again, you can hear that there are people off in the in the bushes around the path and in the tree line. You can are these can... people mentally challenged? They see me causing an earthquake, <laughs> burning a bush with, Dude, with my what, hands, what by the of... way, with, with jets of flame bursting from it, and they're still following Dude, us. No, V, right. Okay, so... At a certain age, children understand that they know things other people don't. Okay. You are talking about what you saw, not what they saw. Mm. You don't know what they saw, but you did hear footsteps running away into the forest before you approached. Well, so now, with that information, what did they see? They certainly felt an earthquake, and they certainly heard the booming voice towards them. Right. But that's it. Mm. If this ends up being like there's some ancient and vicious tribe of cannibals in this forest, and this is how the guilty villagers send investigators off to get killed. I'll, I'll try the stealth us. trick approach again. I'll try to to um, suddenly dart in a bush. Well, well, hold on, hold on, V. Um, I have a stealth did... of four. It was four. It was just a bad roll last time. Where did the sounds come from this time? Um, uh, to your, I guess, north and south. Okay. Um, how close are they this time? Not particularly close. It's hard to estimate the distance, though. Not within running distance for me. If I if I were to jump out and dash, it's hard to estimate. Hmm. Let's see if my plan works. I'll risk it with a stealth of 10. Okay. Fuck it. Just, just go on and I'll, I'll stay behind. <laughs> I mean, you know, are you all, that works. Usually, the party leader for this adventure, are you okay with that monumental decision? Well, I'm okay with delegating responsibility, Cyron. Okay. If if he if he wants to, I mean, he can come back in the car if he doesn't feel confident about his. Ah, uh, uh, fine, I come back in the car. But how would I know that I rolled a stealth of ten in character? Because maybe you sit in the bush. And there's some parts like I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's with my rolls today? This is like uh, I have a bonus of four on stealth. It's I haven't been doing much better either. It, it's even better than my perception. It's even better than my charisma. Like it, it, it makes no sense that I would roll so bad. It's not better than your charisma. That's fine. Do you want me to try this this gambit? Because I have a pretty good stealth too. I Thank can you. jump out. Yeah. And jump trying to kill V, who may try to have sex with them. Well, it, it's entirely possible, Ben. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no, I, no, it's, I it's trip the and fall out of the cart. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to the herbalist. I don't care if they want to ambush us. Just fucking. I mean, yeah, to be honest, that's not the worst thing that could happen at this point. Can I set fire to the forest? Apparently not. I can just set fire to a bush. How many burning hands do you have memorized? Um, I think you can use like uh, level one spells the, the number of times you have level one. So basically, I could. No, you, you have the number of level one spells that you have memorized. So if you have one burning hand spell memorized, you someone said in a comment section that is different, but fine, we'll just is use it? whatever you say. So I had it once memorized. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. But um We're just gonna continue down the path. Continue, right. Yes. Carefully, but uh, 
Probably. After enough traveling, come Ooh. to a hut. And next to it is a garden with flowers, and you see an old woman in a vineyard. She's just plucking away and tending to the vines. A vineyard, you say? Vineyard, I say. See, now I can cast spells and no one can see. Okay. Um, as you arrive, she notices you and uh, stops what she's doing, puts down her tools and starts waddling over to you because she's a little old lady. I look at those little... Good day, old crone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's quite the artwork there. Yeah, I... I... I asked a ritualist for a little old lady, and he's, he's, she was green initially. I was like, um, she doesn't need to be green. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that anyway. Like? That reminds me of someone. Anyway, she uh, just, just says, hello, young man. What can I do for you? Well, we why are here don't you on... talk like this? Right, right, right. Well, right, right. Well, right. Listen, yeah, listen. okay. <laughs> my um, my overzealous use of the Inquisitor papers earlier is a potential mistake that we don't have to repeat here. So we could say, just simply, we've been hired to investigate rumors of suspicious behavior relating to potions. Does that sound all right, you guys? Sure. Yes. That's what we're saying. And and, and we thought you might be able to help us as your <clears throat> herbalist. She gives you a sort of uneven blink as she stares at you and is just like, well, I don't know what you mean. I mean, sometimes I make brews and potions that help people. I make them out of the herbs I find in the forest. Do you make healing potions? Well, some of them, are, well, they're all good for your constitution or to, you know, get rid of a particular ailment or to improve, to help your joints or, or something like that. Anything for love? She says, "Yes, I can. I can make a love potion for you." Which? <laughs> Nothing. I, I will um, do for myself. But definitely, which? I mean, we don't have that much more information to go on, do we? They didn't give us very much. Uh, hmm. You, any bright ideas? I can cast Zone of Truth on her. Thanks, Austin. By the way. Um, but yeah, sorry, Karen. I, can I don't think Zone of Truth is that useful because we don't know the, exactly the right question to ask. And Zone, Zone of have... Truth it has a saving throw. I mean, she yeah, but I, I will tell her not to save unless she wants me to be the living shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, me! <laughs> okay, I, I have I have an idea. Um, I'm going to ask her. Can can I see where she brews the potions? Can I take a look in the cal in the cauldron? <laughs> How is to be fair, happen? this is the Inquisition's fault for not telling us exactly whatever the fuck they want us to do. It's like, well, there's healing potions that are heretical. They want you to investigate because they've heard rumors. That's all they know. So if it turns out that they are just rumors, then it turns out they're just rumors. Yeah, right? but I don't think I, they're, they're not rumors. because this is an actual story. Yeah. So, okay, well, the, the other lead that we've got is the wine. So we could ask her to uh, we could ask her to identify it first just to see if she recognizes it immediately i mean she might recognize it by the bottle we'll Show ask her towards. you recognize this you, you're showing her the wine yeah i'm yes. showing her the wine yeah um she says yeah that's that's my wine ah, and i asked that was uh, easy. What, what do you use to to make the wine same problem as last time babe. Oh no, because she, she's not the shopkeeper. She just well, taps her hook, taps her hook nose, and says, "Well, that's that's my secret, isn't it?" Is it five gold coins worth of secret? What are you trying to bribe her? Yes, I'm trying to bribe her. She says, "Absolutely, I, I'm not give. I, I don't. I'm not going to tell you what I'm putting in my special wine. Not even for ten gold coins. No, fifty. <laughs> It's six gold coins. It's six bottle. gold each. <laughs> you have to give a lot more than that. Well, yeah, but the storekeeper makes that, not her. So. Yeah, but there's a markup. It's not like it's cheap wine. Hmm. And you can ask her how much she sells it to the shopkeeper for, if you like. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
All right. Well, we can't we can't very well just ask her if there's any fiendish, devilish ingredients in there because she'd probably say no. Well, unless I cast on the truth, and then I mean, I guess, but we'll have to convince her not to save or get lucky. Oh, but listen, bitch, we're with the Inquisition. <laughs> we're I mean, investigating, blah 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 blah. If it turns out she yeah, actually is a witch, uh, then saying Inquisition might change the change the pace a bit. She might either get scared or um, you know, get. She, she's angry not going to run away, and we will tell her that she will. She is for her interest not to resist the spell because I will know if she does. True. Anyone else have an objection to this plan? Um, does she create the wine here? Uh, she she says, yeah, she brews it herself. Okay. Well, she's lying. Is she? Yes. Could it be the I uh, something about winemaking? Ah, uh, god damn it, Sargon, look up this shit on the forehand. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, what what what's what's your objection? Oh, producing wine is actually a really laborious process. I mean, she would require help from the local villages and all the likelihood of vats, fermenting areas, etc. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm, okay, yeah. She she collects the ingredients and she instructs on how it's made, but she doesn't do that. Okay. Who does she instruct? Just villagers. Right. I suppose they're sworn to secrecy. Yeah, they get paid, so they're not just going to blab about their job. Unless we get them drunk on the wine. <sighs> Shall I perform my miracles? <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's let let let's, let's go for the Uzlu and V joint gambit then. Um, Old Crone, uh, we are with the Inquisition. I show her the papers. <laughs> okay. She and she's very oh. surprised. Oh my goodness! You know, she she crosses herself. She. So what 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 what's wrong? Well, as as we mentioned, we're here to investigate reports of unusual behavior. It turns out that there may be some heretical behavior involving uh, what oh, yeah. is rumored to be health potions, but we we suspect there might be involvement with something that you're doing. We would like to use a harmless uh, holy technique to determine whether or not you're telling us the truth. Would you allow us to do this? Um, I think you'll have to make a persuasion roll on that. I guess so. One moment. I think I have a decent charisma for that. Oh, I don't actually. Well, I will then. Well, well I said it. I was the one doing it, so yeah. All right. Well, I got two on it, so two bonus. Ah, shit. She says, "I, you don't need to do anything like that. I'm happy to tell you anything that you want to know." I will say I'm sorry, but it's standard inquisitorial practices. You you understand? Ooh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> she looks quite cross about it. Really, um, she. I mean, you 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 calling her a liar? No, so, it's it's just it's my job. I'm I'm sorry, from, regardless from of how you feel about it. Calling her a liar. Mm -hmm. um, so she, I mean, she she agrees, but she doesn't like it, and she yeah. she says that she doesn't want you know she she she's not into witchcraft or anything like that. Yeah, I, I say it's a harmless prayer. Please don't resist. We won't ask you anything pressing. All right, what's the difficulty of it, V? Uh, well, she can choose uh, not to. Yeah, and I'm asking you the difficulty. So okay, uh, if you want me to see beating the living shit out of an old lady, that's fine. So it's eight plus two for that, and plus uh, the modifier for wisdom two. So eight plus four, that's twelve. You might want to tell her that you'll know if she's being evasive. Yeah, I, I already, I already said. It's like mm -hmm. seven the, the spell doesn't appear to work on her. I look at the Zulu and I say she is resisting. <laughs> Is she resisting, or did you just fizz? No, it means she resisted on purpose. This All is right. new D and D. There is actually no way to miscast in this one. So oh, okay. yes, is there a sly smile upon her face? No, she looks concerned. I, I look at her angry. Why did you resist? She says, "My lord, I don't know anything about magic. I don't know what's happening." 
This is getting more and more suspicious. Hmm. Have you been visited by anyone lately? Uh, say around two years ago, for example? Or whenever you started... No, hold on, I'm this? casting another spell on her. I'm casting command. Tell us how the... In the name of the Lord, tell us how the wine is made. Okay, is that the same difficulty? Yes. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> She's like a fucking master magician. But he's, he's just got a difficulty of 12. <laughs> it's 14. really not very hard it, to It's do 14, that. it's not 12. No, it was eight. Plus oh, eight plus four. Okay. Yeah, you're actually just a terrible spellcaster because you put all your bloody stuff in charisma, and instead of trying to persuade her, you're trying to bully her with spells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but the thing is, it's like she's resisting on purpose, so <laughs> yeah, it, it means she has something to hide. Or maybe she doesn't like people trying to cast spells on her and forcing her. To do well, tough shit. Yeah, she's going to be get get her ass whooped. Well, to be fair, she was persuaded. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm going to do an intimidation roll. I'm going to look towards Uzuru and I say, I, I think I think the Inquisitor will want to talk to her. Maybe we should take her with us. Okay. If you want to do your intimidation roll? Yeah. Hold on. Holy shit. <laughs> You've successfully scared an old woman. Well done. Mate. Yeah, yeah. She she shrieks and shrinks back from you and say, "Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you afraid of the church? Right, what's if, your if you've armor done class? Nothing, v? You'll have nothing to hide. V. What's your armor class? Uh -oh. uh, hold on. It's. Uh... Did V forget his helmet again? <laughs> it's fifteen. Okay, a stone lands near you that had clearly been thrown from behind you, V. Can I catch it as it does? No. <laughs> I think the youths are defending their granny. Well, I put my crossbow at her head and I shout, whoever <laughs> threw that, come out now. You just hear, I mean, the, like, if you turn around, you'll see about a dozen young men who are just angry and, you know, they one of them's thrown a rock at you because you're yelling at an old woman in their village. My, my crossbow is pointed at her and I look <laughs> towards them angrily. It isn't helping, V. <laughs> Disperse. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't put them on the map yet, but I will do if necessary. But um I have a feeling it's going to be necessary, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, so Jesus, fine. I, I want to put the crossbow at her. Um no, but but I, I do tell her that what why is she afraid of the church if she has nothing to hide? Because the church is pointing a crossbow at me and using dark magic on me to try and force me to do things against my will. Then why do you not just tell us? I am just telling you. You do not want to tell us how the wine is made, which no, is why we're that's here. That's my livelihood that you might ruin. What, whatever secrets you have, it will be a maintained secret with the church. I don't recall you swearing an oath. I will swear an oath. I will take the secret to me to the grave. Might want to lower the crossbow first. I lowered the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> This is just hilarious. She's she looks like she's on the verge of tears, and she she just mumbles something about mushrooms in the forest. What mushrooms? What forest? <laughs> what forest? <laughs> there's many mushrooms in the forest. I've never heard of any forest? <laughs> there's many mushrooms in the forest. Which how do they look like? Okay, she gives you the name of a mushroom you've never heard of. Do you well, have she's one? gonna have to bring us an example. Yeah, exactly. Do you have one that we can see? <laughs> and tell the faggots behind me to disperse. <laughs> she says, "No, I need to go and collect more." Okay. Well, it's a lucky day. You're gonna have an escort. <laughs> well, we we we'd be glad to help you with your expedition. I I'm I I'm gonna try to calm cool. the situation on both sides here. I'm gonna try to um tell the no, people. No, no, the... no, no! Please don't. Please don't. You do not just... show weakness in the front of an angry fucking mob. Think of them like a rabid right, dog. But, but if you keep showing intimidation of an old woman, they're going to show strength. Well, if the woman keeps showing contempt, I'm going to show her intimidation. I don't think she's showing contempt. Have you seen rioters, Uzulu? Have you ever seen the police going, okay, let's just take a step back and relax the situation? There's, no, there's I was ten peasants. Go and, and Uzzle, Uzzle, there's like, ten peasants that threw a stone at us. We, we can easily dispatch them. 
Yes, we can kill them all, V. I'd prefer yeah. to avoid that, though. Well, it's after them, isn't it? Well, initially... They throw another rock at me, my hands are well. up. <laughs> Benjamin, well, the people are paranoid of magic in the church. That's why they're just doing the li as little as they can. But sorry, car carry on, guys. So, <clears throat> if we were to offer to help her pick more mushrooms than she's able to pick herself, in return to simply take a sample, she, what she, she just says, I, I don't, I'm not going today, and I don't want your help. I want you to leave. And show oh, us a bad. mushroom, and we will gladly leave. Ask for a description, and then we'll leave. Well, yeah, she, she gives you a description of a mushroom. But if we, none of it, us know what the mushroom is, none of us have got this. Is the mushroom dis description distinct enough that we might be able to find it if we went looking? Um, no. The problem with mushrooms is that a lot of them look kind of the same. It's it's got white stalk with a red cap and red sp uh, white spots on it, but that describes a lot of mushrooms. It does, but how does she know the difference? Because she's red an expert. cap and white spots on it. Yeah. I mean, usually if it's red, that's a bad sign. I wonder if she... Um, if she yeah, she that is. sounds like a venomous mushroom, but this is a fantasy world, so it could be anything. Mm. All right, well, um, we've managed to uh, intimidate, psychologically torture, and almost fire... And yet she's still not head. cooperative. All this way to me. this if... part of the quest, so we've actually made some progress today. Yeah, but no, let's not back off now. We've gone for the heavy-handed treatment. <laughs> let's yeah. just fucking push it through at this point. <laughs> Listen, there is some pressure not to abuse this woman. I don't see any reason to. I think we, we go and try to find some mushrooms in the forest. Okay, we've already the... abused her. We've, we've already done everything you're saying we should try to avoid. Just so you guys are aware, you, you aren't unaccountable. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to reduce anyone, yeah. the amount of damage we have to do here. If we kill all these villagers, the, Inquis the Inquisition is not going to be happy. To be fair, if we kill them, make sure that none of them escape to tell the tale. I don't think we can <laughs> chase them all down. <laughs> I, this, we, we must avoid combat right now. Right. So okay. let's just go and let me forage. deal with the peasants. Can you let me do that? Yeah. I think I can. Yeah, let, let's have the lord that hates the peasants go and interface with them, shall we? Well, I, I trust Arch. Because you can't do softness against these. Okay. Arch, go on. You better go. I'll go over to the group of pe peasants. I'll be very strict with them. Like, mm -hmm. okay. You there, calm down now. We are an official business. We think that this old woman might unknowingly, mind you, have put something harmful in the wine. If you do not interfere, Nothing bad will happen to her or you, but be very aware you are pushing official inquisitorial mandate. Yeah. The, these are big words they do not understand, Arch, but you can make an intimidation roll if you like. <laughs> okay, I'll... Sh <laughs> if they don't understand what a sword is, I guess they have a problem. Well, that's, that's why I want you to do the intimidation roll. <laughs> I suspect that my career with the Inquisition is about to be dependent on this roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too bad for you. Yeah. It's right. Wendy all over Wait again. A second, I'll let you know how they respond. Um, the one that you're talking to uh, has a rock in his hand, and he look. He you can see him gripping it very tightly, but he does back down somewhat after like a couple of seconds of you glaring at him, and he says, "Well, why don't you just fuck off?" My lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very simple. We are here on official business. We fear there might be something in the wine you've all been so enjoying that might make you sick. He replies saying, well, we all drink the wine when we can. It's not making us sick. Not yet, it isn't. And, best part yet, <clears throat> if the old woman would simply show us the mushrooms to which she refers, we can fuck off, because then you we'll know you've... there's nothing wrong with it. You've just revealed her secret that she swore to... that, she, that V swore to never reveal to anyone. the mushroom, no, but... She has a mushroom in the drink. Well, that's a bit more than she was willing to reveal to anyone else. 
if these people, Asaga said they were working for her in the village. This is an open secret at best in well, the village. But it, it it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much. Mm -hmm. um, the 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 peasants say we don't give a fuck. Just you should just leave her alone. <sighs> That's I lovely. think we probably are going to leave her alone now anyway. <clears throat> it doesn't I mean, look like they're a physical threat to you, to be honest. No, they're, but they're just. I, I, I walk up towards them with the bottle. No, wait, wait, wait. It, it, expensive wine okay. in hand. No, the, the, he's lose the lead here. I'll let him make the decision. Okay. But at this point, we've already pushed this really, really far. If we push it this far and we still don't get anything, we've just done a lot of bad shit for no results. I think we've actually got quite a lot. If our suspicion that the wine could be the problem is true, which I think it is, then we've discovered what is most likely the secret ingredient, the important ingredient. We know where roughly to find a big area, but we know in that area where roughly to find it. And all we got to do is find it and maybe bring some samples to the Inquisition. We're I'll, almost I'll, there we don't, but if we, we can come back now, we the mushroom. I'll, I'll try one more persuasion. Well, we'll, wait, 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 wait. We'll me. get a bunch of mushrooms that look similar to the description. We can forage for a few hours and then bring them back to her and tell her to identify which ones are correct. We'll bring a few I'll, of them I'll, back. I'll, hold on, I'll, I'll try one more persuasion. Hold on, V. Just chillax for a second. You don't even know what I want to do. Yes, I don't know what you want to do, because we're having a discussion right now, and you can uh, tell us later afterwards. Okay. So, what are you... She's not cooperative now. If we run away after being physically intimidated by these people, what do you think the odds are she's going to be a cooperative next time? Well, we're leaving everyone in a court, so how do we make that look like it's not weakness? Yeah, if we're leaving at this point, it will be <clears throat> seen as weakness, because we will back down. I don't think there's any way we can avoid that now. Th th there's a really good persuasion I have in mind, and there's no way it can backfire either than her saying no. She's going to say no, isn't she? Oh, it depends on the role, I guess. Well, go on, Envy. What, what, what's the plan? Okay. Well, I, I look up to her and I say, look, I, I, I'm sorry, old lady. This obviously got out of hand, and I, I understand we're on the wrong foot here. But listen, we, we've been sent on an important mission by our superiors. We need to give them something. So they they back off from our backs, and they, they will leave you alone. Otherwise, there might be more questions raised, and it will be difficult for us, and you're going to have to answer to other people as well that might be more persuasive than us. So just, just give us the mushroom or help us get it, and we promise we will be out of your hair. She's, she looks like she's about to cry, and she just wails at you. It's not the right season. Uh, when, when does the, the season come? The summer. It's currently so, spring. It's spring, okay. And, and you don't happen to have anyone, uh, any mushroom available. She says no. And again, she looks like she's on the verge of tears. All right, fine. Why didn't you tell right. us this fucking five what minutes ago? What is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> <laughs> okay. How, I, I how have... are they going to wine if there's no mushrooms? Because as Benjamin po pointed out in, uh, in, the, the, in the super chat, they're, they're fearful and distrustful of the Inquisition, and they don't want to cooperate with you as much as possible. Uh, yeah, but fine. we've already pushed the Inquisition. We have to push our power now. Like, yeah. we, we don't have the option of subtlety. I've just learned it's autumn for mushrooms, not summer. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I will, I will <laughs> say... This episode. I, I, I understand. So it, the, the thing is, the Inquisition does believe there are heretical brews that are being dispatched in this village. If you're saying you are not responsible and we believe you, is there anyone else that might be, um, you know, selling uh, heretical breweries besides you? Anyone else that knows alchemy besides you, basically? <clears throat> um, okay, hang on. Uh, I have a related art. Mm -hmm. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question, though, V. In the forest. Which forest? Well, I can see the one I live in. <laughs> um... <laughs> so... <laughs> 
um what sorry what was your question or statement again v you want to know who all right yeah it's basically like we need yeah. to give something to the inquisition and we believe that you're innocent is there anyone else that brews potions anyone else that gathers herbs besides you she looks you kind of blinks a bit well i mean I'm, a lot of people probably gather herbs for their dinners and things like this you know like yeah, but someone who builds potions, uh, who makes potions and sells them to the public, like healing potions, especially. She she's not aware of anyone who makes healing potions. Mm -hmm. We're just simple peasants, just trying to get along and enjoy our lives. <sighs> well, I guess this is a dead end, Uzla. Yeah, probably. Um, well, we can't wait here until the autumn or the summer, whichever one. Um, so let's go back um, to the actually be a bit in the bottle of wine. Where does got. she produce this stuff? What the wine itself? Yes. Um it's produced in the village. But um, okay. not, not in the village, but like slightly out of the village. All uh, right. When was the last batch made? Um about three months ago. All right. Um, the, we'll have to be is from the last batch. We'll have to be taken there, and we'll see over their equipment, take any samples we have, so we can bring something back to the Inquisitor, mm. and also make it very clear to the old lady that this is not enough. This is dangerous, and she should maybe think about things before making things too good in the future. How, she she just looks at how's my wine dangerous? It's delicious. It's good for you. I think Hold on, I say that. Why do you yeah. say it's good for you? Yeah, I was going to ask that too. It's good for you, yeah. Well, the, the mushrooms aren't just for flavor. They help you with all your aches and pains, and they help you um, free your mind. Uh, psychedelic <laughs> mushrooms, yes. <laughs> Lads, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so climbing over the fourth wall, just like Wendy attempted to climb out of that wall in the uh, in the outpost here. We, 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 we've hit magic mushrooms. Yeah. W would I be able to, to make a medicine roll to understand why people are addicted to this shit? Well, there's psychedelic that, mushrooms. It's... Yeah, to, to realize that basically the mushrooms uh, cause a severe addiction in people, so this is why they buy the wine. Would, would I be able to, to use a medicine roll to figure that out? I think we have to look at the wine to do that. And I have a pretty good medicine roll, actually. I guess you can try. All right. Don't let's give worry. it a go. I'm sure I know which fucking mushroom it is here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh. Dev, your rolls today. Yeah, okay. Dev, what, what was it you were looking for exactly? Um, Just to see if I know what, what makes the wine special. Yeah, to, to, to find out if um we, we can... If our characters can figure out that it's a drug that causes addiction, um, that's placed in the wine. Um, it, it it probably is something that's not usually put into wine that's causing the people to enjoy it so much, and this this would seem to be the best lead that you have on that. Okay, mystery solved. Let's go home. Acolyte, what does the holy scripture say about uh, psychedelics? Uh, obviously, I'd use an appropriate word. Uh, yeah, I, I would. I would yeah. say that is the same what the scripture says about tobacco and drugs in general, that it hurts the body and thus it hurts the soul. That's not true at all. Nothing is mentioned in the scriptures about psychedelics or drugs. The 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 Holy Bible, like if you ask a priest what he thinks about smoking, yeah, but that the the priest doesn't get that from the Bible. Okay, that well, is true. But I suppose we'd need to know what the culture says about it. Well, the, the Bible is usually against drinking. Um, and yeah, if you drinking, have something, yeah, if you no, have no, something, no, no, in not the against drink. the idea of drinking. Um, be, being a slovenly drunkard, yes. Yeah. And, and, and and if you have something in the wine that makes people unable to quit and and makes it even more addictive than alcohol already is, it would definitely be something really bad. Probably not heretical, but you, you're living in a time before prohibitions. I think um, at this point we've we've sort of reached the point where we can start to make some summaries. Uh, I think the dilemma here is: do we report this to the Inquisition when it's probably pretty much harmless? Or... Yeah, we tell them what we found. 
obviously well, yeah. would have bought it. Not only is it not harmless, it renders even a holy man of God drunk, addicted, <laughs> completely and utterly unable to fulfill his duties. This is a to take hunted down and eradicated. So what you're saying, Arch, is that we're going to take additional steps of rhetoric to make the situation look worse than it is. Yes, because we've already made the situation look really bad, and the only way we can justify acting like complete brutes at this point is if there's something bad here for us to attack. That is actually a good argument. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm a 40k dude. I know how Inquisitions work. We, we smile at the old lady, we apologize for the disturbance, and we thank her for her help. Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to profusely apologize to this old woman. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so sorry about my friend. So sorry, but you're going to get the pyre soon. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I seem to be the actual moral fag of the group, and I'm just standing back there at this whole thing, just like I can't fucking believe this. Shit our, our noble is going to make sure to get the pyre. But <laughs> I'll, uh, as I'm leaving, I'll at the very least, for her trouble, give the old woman a, a very thankful gesture. And then okay. uh, continue, and we'll oh, wait. Go on. There's one. I'm, I'm going to turn back and say, "Listen, I, one more thing, Columbo. Go yeah. on. <laughs> so, I I completely understand if you're going to say no to this after this this shit show, old lady. Lost that gamut but, of the episode. Let's see how it goes. But All would right. you would you mind selling me a love potion? <laughs> She's a bit taken aback by it, but she says, "Well, I, I'll have to prepare it, but I can." I can probably do it for tomorrow. I'll be back. I don't, I don't think we'll be here tomorrow. Okay, that'll, that'll be four gold pieces. Jesus. I'll, I'll be, be back tomorrow. Why is she living alone people. in the forest when she's making so much cash? <laughs> Maybe she likes not being bothered. Good God, what's the point of making money then? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't go hungry? No, she, she, she is making, like, okay, you, you said that a peasant makes, like, certain a few copper or something like that she's making six gold pieces per ball of wine that she's selling with magic mushrooms well, and she, she, she's personally not but yeah she's she's making money with it yeah yeah and, and yet she's alone in the forest instead of a mansion with servants <laughs> she should buy a noble title <laughs> maybe she will <laughs> for Christ's sake. I mean, it's not like she's like especially ostentatious <laughs> But, um, she does have far but too are, are, you, are you paying her four gold pieces, Dev? Um, I'd like to pay tomorrow when I actually see the product. She says she wants payment in advance. <laughs> can I she give might you, not come back. Can I give you half? She said, yeah, okay. Half now, half on. Right, sounds good. I'll give mm -hmm. you two, two gold. And I'll see okay. you tomorrow. Okay. Come, come back around seven o'clock in the evening. And Great, now we have to wait a day around people who hate us. <laughs> we'll camp in the forest, I guess. Somewhere deep. Yeah, we, we do have we, tents. We, so. we have tents in the cart, yeah. No, we, we should no, be no. okay. I'm a noble. I don't have shame. No, but you want to not get killed in the night. That's I mean, what the no, prank well, is wait, for. Dev, Dev. Don't, don't, don't judge conclusions, man. <laughs> I'll go get my nailed plank, if nothing else. <laughs> you I, I still, the village? No one's questioning what you're using that for, but I would like to know at some point. Oh, it's a trap, obviously. Are you, are you heading back to the village? Yes. Speaking of traps, while we spent a week on the road, just by the by, mm -hmm. I crushed the bottles Devo gave me, probably dumped the content somewhere on the road, and I put the crushed glass in one of the small pouches I have. I'm carrying that at my hip. Okay. I assume you don't mean the bottle of evidence. You mean the bottle of vinegar. The bottle Devo gave me before we even left. So yes, not the okay. bottle look, of evidence. Like how how, how, how many it. bottles was it anyway? I only crushed up one. Okay. Do you want to just crush up the red vinegar bottle? Because it's, it's completely useless at this point. Oh, I've got enough. I've crushed it into a fine powder. So it, I, I've got what I need. All right, I will remove that then. We got drunk on vinegar one night on the road. I don't think anyone gets drunk on vinegar. But, <laughs> um, right, okay, yeah, you arrive back in the town. Um, as you, oh, well, no, actually, as you go to leave, the uh, the peasant lads are giving you just daggers as you go past, just eyeing you. I would like to wave at them. 
you can wave at them if they like. You know, he gives you the finger. I really, <laughs> really think we should consider at least harming them. That way we could say to the Inquisition that we were attacked. It would lend a lot of credence to our story. Okay, but if the Inquisition find out the truth, they are fucked. Truth is subjective, and this is a village is far away. And the chances of them finding out is somewhat reduced, yes, but not impossible. And if they do, it's it's curtains for us. So let's just not bother with it. I I think what we do is Could um, kill one. <laughs> I don't think that's for the best. Now, Arch, I know you'll disagree with this, but perhaps we go the other way. Perhaps in, instead of trying to show them that they're shit, which you know really tends to make people like you, what what we do instead is to attempt to improve the relation with the villagers that we talk to. We just go around and spread good faith by various different things while we're waiting, because we have a day to wait. I think that's probably too late, but you can go spread love. All, all I would all I would suggest, I mean, Dev, you must be on board with this, right? What I'd suggest <laughs> is that we try to offset the inconvenience we've caused them, and perhaps uh, I reduce do, I the amount of reporting to the Inquisition they might do if the Inquisition happens I'll, to I'll, ask. I'll perform a, a religious prayer for, for this village. That will help. Okay, where, where, are you, where are you doing this? Are you, are you heading back to the village, yeah? Yeah. Well, while while Devo is going to get his potion, I'm in the village. <laughs> yeah, and I... Well, well uh, what, what time is he going to get his plank? So... What uh, time is it when we get back to the village, anyway? <laughs> Yeah, it's about five o'clock in the evening by the time you get back. Are there still kids outside playing? Well, they're not playing, but yeah, they're, they're, I mean, there are still people around. Okay, this is still the day before the potions, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the yeah. yeah. I'm going to call as many children over as I can. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the Pied say, Piper. Kids, come around. I want to tell you a story of my native homeland because it's far away, and I'm obviously different. Right, okay, hang on a second. So I will... Come here, children. I am a nigger. Let me regale you with tales of my homeland. <clears throat> I will use all eyes on you. Okay, hang on a second. You, you start calling uh, for the children and stuff, but um, as you do, uh, many of the parents sort of rush over and like tell their children not to and to come away. So you, you get the two that are near you, three that are near you, but um, that's it. Maybe going straight for the kids wasn't the best idea, but you you, you might as well go, go with it for the ones that are interested. <laughs> perhaps more will gather, perhaps some parents will gather. Uzulu, I am a giant teddy bear, there's nothing to fear. You're a, you're a giant oh. black man. You're pretty <laughs> unusual and fearful <laughs> to these people. I will tell the few kids that have come over a fun tale. Okay, what are you going to tell them? Um, I had nothing in, in mind. Well, then, Tales of tale, <laughs> Tell them, will... tell them about Wakanda. I'll tell them about Wakanda. Performance. How's my tail? Hey, that's not bad for a minus actually, one. To be yeah. honest. Um, you know, the, the, the children clap at the end of it. <laughs> After hearing about the glorious deeds that you took part in in Wakanda and how amazing your homeland must be. they One of them asks you, why have you come here? <laughs> so amazing. Stay behind your your to burn your mother at the pyre. <laughs> <laughs> Just rub his head, sad lingo, like you don't want to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty um, much. <laughs> Arch, are you collecting your plank with nails in? I am. It's a nice plank. Does it have okay. lots of nails Did in it? You pay for it already. Uh, I'll say yes. Hmm, I thought you might uh, be a silver piece, but it's not gone. Do you not trust I he, me? I think he did. No. <laughs> Can I roll just to, to convince you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'll pay for the plank again uh, then. You pay or not, I can't remember. <sighs> Can we get on with this? <laughs> Richard, let's just, I'm here for them white women. Scander, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, Hold on. Th this chat room. room. <laughs> this chat this chat devo gets love potion devo i need to find children <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't have the love potion yet he's just chatting them up at the moment <laughs> all right so i'm gonna need to head off soon but someone, I, someone in the good... chat says you did pay yeah um well okay well yeah. we'll give, the, give us the good minutes. deed 
Yeah, okay, just, I'll just take my silver yeah. back from the thieving fucking blacksmith. Okay. So you have a plank with nails in it. Good. Um, just before we end, though, my my good deed is going to be to uh, you guys tell me if you don't think this is a good idea to go and tell the truth to the mayor, tell the truth of what what we found, and let him know that there might be an issue with the wine. Uh, no, no. <laughs> we want to. Okay. Again, you're the leader here, you're loser, you get to decide. But I really suggest that considering how fucking badly we've behaved, we push the negative on this one and have the Inquisitor descend upon this place with fire and brimstone. Yeah, and not only that, if you go to the mayor and you tell him, by the way, the, the wine that all of you guys are addicted to, the, the, the one that you, you can't live without drinking, yeah, we're, we're going to take that away from you. <laughs> we'll just say, like... um. We're going to have to report what we saw to the Inquisition. On the but... other hand, what you could do is go, we're going to have to report this, and then pat your coin purse softly. <laughs> I think it's already assumed that you're going to report this. Yeah. No, it's like, bribe us so we don't report it. But my, my point was that we would just inform him that the ingredients of the wine might be having an effect on people's health beyond just the normal effects of wine. Uh, my, my plan was that I would go there, apologize for the way that we behaved, and then ask him if I could come in and talk to him about what we, what we found. He'd invite me in, we'd have a nice chat, I'd tell him the truth, and I'd be nice about it, and then he'd thank me, and <coughs> I'd thank him, and then we'd part company positively. My, rather than my, my advice is negatively. you 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 give you lie about it, because what, what what's going on here is all of them are junkies, right? And, and if you're telling a junkie that even, even though it's bad for him but you're telling him basically we might just make sure that you never drink this again they will act very violently and they will try to stop you so you might have like the entire village out to get you if i don't think that. for one thing i don't think all of them are junkies and second burn, i don't think the mayor is a junkie burn, burn, burn. yeah I, i'm with arch I'm and i see. just either I, either I, I you lie really about it and, and you say you found something else or you didn't find anything at all um, I usually I'm, I'm, I'm actually with you on this, Uzulu. I think you should probably at least tell some of the truth. I figured you might be. I usually wouldn't go the be nice and <laughs> you know, don't do the thing that's the most advantageous route, but we've pretty much nailed this as far as I can tell. And at this point, I would prefer to, if we have the option, to just use what we've learned to leave on a positive rather than a negative, because we've already fucked around with these people. Might as well... Yeah, okay, fine, go, go talk to him if that's what you want. I, I, I'm not going to go in there, though. I don't predict it's going to cause a massive drama. So okay, the, well. the the plan I described earlier, so I'm going to go in and have the the chat. I'd like to, to attempt to do that. It's it's your mission, mate. You you go to watch one. You, yeah. you want I'll to go talk to the mayor, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. You arrive at the mayor's house. You knock. Uh, the door opens. A servant answers and says, "My lord isn't here, but my lady is. Would you like an audience?" Well, that puts that plan to rest a bit. Um. I, I, su I suppose we'll I suppose we'll go with that because the the wife will have influence over him, but she won't be fully aware of, of what we she wouldn't have been there when we were being rude to him, so she wouldn't have seen it exactly. So maybe somewhat of a clean slate. So let's do that. Okay, look. Um are, are you by yourself, Uslin? Uh, I guess so, because you guys are all doing other things. Yeah, I'm I'm currently with the kids. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on your own, Uzlu, you go to the house. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's in the drawing room. Uh, you go in, and she's sat there, not sitting very nicely in the couch. She's kind of slouched in the couch. And you can see that she has a bottle of wine that's half drunk in front of her. And she's just gazing dreamily out of the window with a smile on her face. Well, there goes my hope that she might have been more um, persuadable. <laughs> she might be eminently persuadable. You... She, don't, she hasn't noticed you've entered the room. Mm. The servant closes the door behind him as he leaves. All right. Well, I mean, there's, there's no turning back now. I'm going to uh, just address her politely, just make, make myself aware of her presence. Something along the lines of my lady. Uh, you have to say it multiple times <coughs> to get her attention. But eventually she just dreamily turns her head to face you and smiles and says, oh, it's the strangers. Mm. What, do you, what, have you, what have you been doing? We believe we've completed our investigation, and so we'll be out of your way very soon. Okay, she, Wait for her to react to that. Yeah, she, she says that um, the next life is a better one. 
an age of science. <laughs> we're in an age of science in a world of vice, a beautiful vision surrounded by darkness or darkness of the flesh. We must all give ourselves over until we realize there's nothing wrong outside ourselves and all the evil is within. Okay. Now, usually I would say there's some sort of demonic possession here or some sort of blood cult and this quest would turn suddenly upside down. However, I'm just going to ask quickly. That's a nice poem. Where did you read that? She just blinks at you and says, poem? Who who uh, who who told you these words? No one told me. It's just the ob obvious observation of the world. Okay, okay. So I'm I'm leaning back from blood cult now to just she's really high and has somehow got this clarity. So uh, I guess there's no re there's no real talking to her. So there's no point in doing this. So uh, I'll bid her good evening. And she'll remember this encounter positively, so maybe there'll be some benefit to it, and I'll leave the house. So that was... Uh, as, as you big goodbye to her, she, she says, no, 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 please stay, drink with me. <laughs> I'm going to politely decline. <laughs> Don't be silly, come on. You'll feel better. I'm still going to politely decline. She tries to persuade you. <laughs> What's her persuasion about she's, that? She's, she's, no, no, she, I can't do that. But, like, she's... um she She very politely implores you says no no you have to try this it is so good for your soul burn you have to <laughs> you can't drink on a job i'm going to thank her and then physically leave okay she um she starts babbling some more sort of nonsense about the, the yes, they always do. Heavens, as you go but she uh she she's very genial too she's very nice I'm sure you won't be accused of raping her, Uzulu. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that bad yet, Arch. It's still the Middle Ages. Still got a few years uh, to go. As, as you leave, the um, the servant uh, says, if you need someone to stay tonight, we actually have a guest house that you and your, 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 your um, uh, peers can stay in, if you like. And you Love, I eye. thank the man, uh, an but key. leave for now. Well, he hands you the iron key to the guest house. Then I'll uh, thank him for the key and leave with the key for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if it's all the same, I would like to end there. Yep, that's fine. All right, thanks. Cool. Okay, right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'll see you next week.